Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Kepi Tesla, and welcome to uh, welcome to episode one of the Biohazard Outbreak Story Marathon Run. We have we have the dream team here tonight. Testing, testing. We have zombie. We have mammon. Say something, zombie. All right, zombie's here, folks. How about you, mammon? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Oh, Hello everyone, good to see you. Back to the main menu. The best RE intro in the series. So how's everyone doing? Yo, let's switch to this. Hope my uh, green screen will behave. Not that I, I have to hide login details or anything. It's just incredibly boring to watch at the, this. At least I think for people. So it's better to watch watch my beautiful face. <laughs> Yeah, Lupka's missing. That's true. That's true. We got to get in touch with Lupka. Maybe she's not aware there's a stream even going. Who knows? Who knows? I uh, I just kind of expect her to be here. I didn't even think about it, zombie, honestly. Hello, Gavin. Gamut. <laughs> there you go. Two more. <laughs> Two more very similar. Zdravo, Eko, Majko, Oče. Sve četiri sestre. Svih pet sestrića. <laughs> Yeah, but my mother's gonna follow this later. I better say hi to all the family properly, otherwise it'll be off with my head. <laughs> Mammon, you you with us? Yeah, I am. I You're am. Awfully am. quiet. So it's our it's our boy Mammon's here birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're kind. It's unexpected. Well, the whole stream is unexpected, really. And that's awesome. Yeah, we only have Zombie to thank for this. So I was... as If you've been following Discord, Sasha's been ill since Friday. So uh, there's no point. There was no point doing anything on Friday. She was really bad. And yesterday still fever plus a lot of coughs. So, you know, even if we imagine she's good and she doesn't need me, I can't be with her like, shh, don't cough loudly. <laughs> I'm streaming here. So uh, tonight I thought, you know, I know people are sick, busy. I was sure Mammon's busy all week. So I said, zombie, you know, it's just you and me. Let's just stream random outbreak. No, we can't do a marathon with the two of us. And zombie says, oh, Mammon's off today. I'm like, no, he's not. I checked because I, I asked him for their schedule and I pinned that message. And I'm like, I checked it. <laughs> but no, he was actually off. So it really made me happy. And and it's his birthday at the same time. And that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. We're gonna play the game. Oh, and if you wish, you can join room two. Uh, I just picked Hippie Tesla. Now loading. We're gonna be at the what's it called town selection in the first game. So we're doing the story marathon. It's gonna be different. Resident Evil Outbreak is the main game of this channel. Anyone who's been watching for a while knows that. And lately, there's been less outbreak because we're doing the Resident Evil Marathon, like all of the games from start to finish, all of them I own, which is 95% of games, I think. <laughs> I'm missing like two, three games. So it's been very few outbreak games. And there were two ways I could do this marathon. One was offline European version, which didn't have online. Single player is a part of every version, but European didn't have any online. But it did have subtitles, uh, prettier font, you know, some things, things like that. But it doesn't have text ad libs where it's where most of the story is. Plus, this was imagined as an online game, so I changed my mind. I decided it's best to do it online. So we're not gonna do the what we usually do. Normally, we do very hard friendly fire because we're very comfortable with the game. This game can be very hard. <laughs> can be very hard on easy difficulty for inexperienced players because it's classic Resident Evil but on crack, <laughs> which means that everything's constantly happening. It's envisioned as an online game, so we'll play it in that online <laughs> uh, classic, just like the way they they imagined it. Not even classic, but yeah, it's classic by this time. So just briefly, these used to be called differently on the official servers. Official servers are long gone for the European and American version. Europe, Europe got online with File 2, the sequel expansion. And uh, Japanese servers lasted longer, and those were the ones that were restored. So what I'm using here is my Japanese copy of Resident Evil Outbreak, or Biohazard Outbreak, patched to English. 
loaded from my PlayStation 2 hard drive. <laughs> so we have the Japanese copy with English, everything, except for the subtitles. For some reason, they, the translator didn't bother with the subtitles. I'd like to get in touch with them and ask them if that's possible to do. And uh, I'm good. I'm good, Gavin. Thanks for asking. Good to see all you people there. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I did not expect the stream tonight. I was like, oh, that's it. Just zombie and me going to dick around. Did not expect. So I quickly wrapped everything up and here we are. We're ready. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I hope you're all good there. Yeah. <laughs> it did cost us all break file three. So basically they were, they were, I think, uptown and downtown and or downtown and uptown. East town. This one is story mode, so this one doesn't work very well with the remade servers, with fan servers, because very few people played it. It's basically you play the game from start to finish, and you just save between scenarios. What we're going to do is West now, which is free mode, where we make our own games, but we're going to play them in order. And uh, Outbreak is a special game. I talk about this game so much that I don't even know where to start. It's... I think it's the best Resident Evil has ever made. Now stay with me if you're like if you don't like this game because I didn't like it for good 15 years. First time played it in 2006, I think. Yeah, yeah, 2006 until late 2020 when I discovered how to play it online when everything changed. Yeah, Europe didn't have any online in the first game, but there's no one. Wait, did you say Area 2, Mammon? I don't see Mammon. Uh, the thing is that it just started like 20 seconds ago, so I just quit. <laughs> you didn't set it to 30 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, Zombie, you want to make the game in slot 2? Zombie do doesn't like the lag in file 1, so Zombie, take slot 2, my he's man. He's in, he's in the room with me, but he's not skipping, so I don't know uh, why. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, just a little... little um... <laughs> lobby issues but that's okay a misunderstanding so yeah during that time i can talk so yeah uh it's envisioned as a four-player cooperative classic resident evil game where you actually solve puzzles and kill zombies no no plagas no whatever the later mutants are fucking mushrooms <laughs> now we have uncooked kfc hunter gamma none of that like classic re monsters and it's not easy <laughs> The game was made without the voice chat function on purpose, so people would stay more, you know... What's the word even for that? I can't remember now. There's a word for that that I use all the time and I listen to it all the time, you know. Just like, to support the atmosphere, I guess, what I'm trying to say. So you don't hear someone, some kid just screaming in your ear while you're trying to play a Resident Evil game. And if any Resident Evil game comes to being close to being scary, that's this one. Like, actual horror. And what I'm saying is... Uh, horror in Resident Evil games was always a storytelling to tool. They were, they were always action games with a horror skirt on them, a horror outfit, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, in essence, they were action games. And it just shows uh, with 4 and onwards, they started focusing more on that action-y bit. They were still Resident Evil games, even though we don't like them. It's a different kind of Resident Evil. But in this game, because... You're, it was made for four players, but you have the option to split up, and it's a classic Resident Evil game, so you, you can be in different rooms. It can get really nasty. There's an endless supply of, of, of monsters uh, in most rooms. On higher difficulties, they respawn really quickly, and they respawn by the way of just banging on the door and bursting into the room you're in. Uh, but on lo lower difficulties, it can be slower. On easy, some of them never respawn even. We're going to do something different. Like I said, we're doing normal. Here we go. One out of four. Normal, but with friendly fire. Because we like friendly fire. And since we're playing on, like, easier, <laughs> we're going to spice it up. Is this? No, this is not ours. This is not us. All right, boys. I'm going to make a room in slot four. While you guys do that. Just so something's happening. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say. We'll talk about it through the through the game really I mean, is this the right keyboard yes it is yeah the, the game actually supports a usb keyboard for the playstation 2 i'm playing this on an actual playstation 2 well it's a it's a ps2 wireless controller but still a ps2 with a keyboard plug it in network in it all of that so the closest we can get to how it was actually played uh i would just call him like the scenario okay story run here you go story run file <laughs> part one our I don't know, the 2236, there you go, the Resident Evil password. Whoever cracks that, they're coming with us. <laughs> so we're going, we're going, leave four players. 
just in case someone corrects me. Since we're doing the story run, I'm going to be Kevin. So Kevin, Mark, and Cindy are the story characters for this scenario, Mammon and Zombie. You guys, who you want to be? I'm, I'm guessing I could be Mark, though. I don't know how's, how you guys would... Or actually, yeah, Mammon can be Mark and Zombie can be Cindy. I'll just pick Kevin. All right. We didn't talk about this, so we're just like <laughs> on the fly. Controller on. Drinks there. Like, I got coffee. I got juice. I got water. I got everything. I got to check where Yupka is, though. It's really concerning. She's not around. Ow. Hot coffee. Don't touch it with your bare skin. Yupka. I'm just gonna send the word stream. <laughs> That's gonna explain everything. Delivered. There you go. Maybe she's sleeping. She could be tired. But nice of you to ask, zombie. Thanks for remembering, buddy. All right, boys. You. Oh wow, you're already there. So Cindy C. That's not canonical, zombie. Get the fuck out of there. Okay, I'll forgive you this time. We're doing. She didn't go in her C outfit to work. Yeah, we're doing canonical run, zombie. <laughs> zombie. <laughs> no, that's okay. Stay there. Don't get out. I'm about to start the game, zombie. Oh well, yeah, lobbies. Think. So before Left 4 Dead, I, I'm like fairly certain that I think one of the developers even acknowledged it. This was the blueprint for Left 4 Dead. So they were like, fuck the puzzles and all the, uh, you know, map runarounds and all that. Just like A to B. Let's do an outbreak scenario, the first scenario of this game, and you'll see why exactly that one where you run from point A to point Z. And just ditch everything else and make put in a lot of zombies. And that's how they got left for dead. And you can see some of that. So outbreak, even after all these modern multiplayer Resident, multiplayer Resident Evil games are, <laughs> are reversed, uh, it has the stats in this game are just crazy. What it memorizes about each player. So your general like general data, as it says, how long you played, who you played with, what's your survival rate, how long you ran, what your conditions, all that infection rate, which is important in this game. Every character can zombify. Uh, special data, which weapons do you, which scenarios you clear without weapons or without taking damage, how many times. Yeah, that's glitched after a hundred. After so many games, it just goes to 99, 59. <laughs> uh, how many times you played each scenario. This is the, the new save. <laughs> and battle and co-op data. A lot of shit there. You can like see who's in your team right away. You're running from the strip club. Aren't you working here, Missy? <laughs> so this is the most canonical we're trying to do here. I don't know, for, for BFP, it's going to be Yoko, so I'll have to be Yoko, Mammon. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know who else would be there. I guess George. We'll talk about it when it gets there. Yeah, big thing as it's starting. This is the... So this is happening on September 24th. Third evening of yeah, twenty third I think the evening, my birthday, or yeah, early hours of twenty fourth, uh, the day of the big outbreak in Raccoon City when T virus epsilon strain leaked out. So after playing all those games, not counting like oh, the the original three, the zero, the remake of one, Code Veronica, this fits really well into that narrative. And yeah. As the game starts, we'll see that, but uh, that's my lesser job. <laughs> that's your night job. <laughs> you didn't change your outfit yet. Um, all of the eight main characters are infected. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before they zombify, and you have to finish each scenario before they do. And, you know, that's one, that's one aspect of it that always reminds me of mercenaries from RE3. Huh? Customer. Who is this guy? Oh, that's you, Mammon. No, your colleague fell down. Are you all right? No, he's all right. You just sleeping. I think it just—I think it just drank one too many shots. Yeah. Because that's the—that's a natural reaction. That's, that happens in this bar every night. That's a real human. That's not CG. Or so I heard. That's an actual human that's face. That's bar that's bar is just lame. It looks really good. Alright, I'm the officer of the RPD. I've been here drinking my whiskey and now there's like shit happening. Cindy waitress. You still she still didn't get to change her clothes. So characters have costumes, right? 
The main eight characters have costumes. Every NPC, this guy here dying, blood is gushing out of his throat. He looks looks really bad. Blood curling streams of people outside trying to escape the monsters can be heard. Yeah, all of them can be playable. You can unlock them. Some of them take a lot. But it can be done. And uh, they all have different stats. There's 100 different playable characters in this game. It's insane. But yeah, let's take it slow. I, so... <laughs> it's gone from, like, nothing to being one of my top three video games of all time. And that's how much that online portion changes everything. Alright. Oh, you, you want to carry your friend. Yeah. Maybe you can get the special cutscene. Stand here in front of the door. I don't think it'll happen because I pushed the barrels, but uh, just stand there. Don't, don't take him in. That's possible with Bob. And I if I didn't push the barrels, it could happen. So Outbreak has so many variables that it's just the canonical run is the closest you can get to it really oh we're playing normal are we yeah we can just nothing to, they're not gonna never mind just go in man they're not gonna come back in an hour you find something a lot of the story in this game is in the ad libs like how characters talk to each other pressing the square button they react to whatever is happening right now but there's also things like oh talking to the players. Uh, thank you. All right, I'm the officer. I'm gonna lead. Security takes his uh, friend. The waitress collects the weed. Now, right, normally I would arrest you, ma'am, but uh, tonight right. is a special occasion. Any progress yet? <laughs> <laughs> Any progress yet with our <laughs> side business, Cindy? All right, so we want to escape, but we're surrounded. We gotta work together, bitch. the three of us. Who or what are they? <laughs> That's right. Thank you, love. So we got new emoticons, emoji, emotes, whatever you want to call them on the channel. We got this one's inspired by Cindy. It's called I Found It. And if Zombie presses the Adlib button as he's trying to pick something up as Cindy, you'll see what inspired it. Cindy's, the, Cindy's skill is mixing weed in her pocket. So she has this extra four slots of her inventory where she can, uh, where she can store... The excess weed she collects. <laughs> the greener. Hello. We got a raid. Welcome, 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 raiders. Thank you for that raid, Lagstorm. How is Cthulhu treating ya? Oh my god. They're alive. We gotta help the civilians. Security. Thank you. Kick him in the nuts. Oh. I'll be right back. Don't use the don't use the thing yet. Because the cutscene won't play. We gotta all be there and the cutscene's gotta play. But I want the map. Because there's also maybe a story item in here. I'll be right with you, chat. Just gotta get to a safe location. Handgun round's gonna need that. Will's diary. Yes. Yeah. And what's under the bed? Come on. Sorry, but I'm coming in. Nice digs. Life of luxury. What about in here? This mark could use this. Time to play hide and seek, huh? Something's here. All right, I'm coming. Get that stapler ready, guys. We're gonna need it. We're gonna hide in the in the locker room for a second. Just, all three of us, while uh... <laughs> come back, Mammon, for the cutscene. We need Bob and you here for the cutscene to play. Sorry. I'm gonna keep the door ready. All right. Bob, come on, Bob. We need you, Bob. Don't fuck with me, Bob. Oh my God. Oh. Yes, Bob. Friendly Disney. fire, friendly fire. Are you ready? Yes, all right. Here we go. <clears throat> all right, bravo. Bravo, guys. Okay, to trigger this cutscene, after this one, all the players must be there with Bob in this room. Because it's, it's, it's kind of foreshadowing. I need your help. Oh, it didn't play. That's weird. Ow. And we're all here, huh? Maybe because the zombie's there. So... Oh yeah, we can do that. We're playing the normal. Ow. <laughs> okay, I'm getting into the locker room. Be right there. Well, hello there. It's really crazy. We're playing Resident Evil Outbreak online story run with friendly fire. Welcome in everyone. Thanks for the raid, Lagstorm. Do we get? We got the shout out. Thank you so much, Sash. Did we get the antivirus? Okay, that'll, that'll slow things down, uh -huh. so I don't zombify ahead of time. Cindy! 
Your locker needs to be opened. Mark! So the policeman will check what is inside the Yeah, trailer. we need to confiscate whatever is in that locker. <laughs> it's over. Uh-huh. Is this very legal process? Let's go. Thanks. Let's go. Are you full? Zombies, zombies. But yeah, I love the game Lagstorm. So what I've seen there, I loved it. It looked really interesting. Oh yeah, wait, the file. I forgot the file. Gotta read the files, I promised. I said I'd read the files. I think we found none so far. The first one will be in here. They broke through the barricade. How do you like... <laughs> you are brain melted. I, I, I get it. I can imagine. That's what I expected from Silent Hill uh, Shattered Memories, honestly. I was like, where's the pistol? I'm looks like I'm at the end of the game. There's, I'm gonna get the pistol soon. Oh, there's no pistol. <laughs> oh, Bob speaks to me. Alright, I'm in. Bob can talk. I didn't know that. When I speak to him, he's silent, but he's, he only says, go now, please forget about me. And what else? Where's the file? I'm looking for the file. Uh, oh, there we go. Diary of bar staff. If you take newspapers, normally you should have all. Yeah, I gotta take. So don't mix them, zombie. I wanna read the newspapers as well. All the files we can. So diary of bar staff. I hate the kids living in the next apartment. They sneak into this building via an access way on the roof almost every day and cause so much trouble. The day before yesterday, they closed the shutter on the third floor while I wasn't looking. Because of that, I couldn't go to the roof to get the package I needed. Then, I got a good scolding from Jack. How ridiculous! <laughs> it's not even my Angry fault. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah, that's the first file we got. Interesting. I'm so used to this game, I don't know when I would expect five files by now. We also got a special item that's another storytelling tool in this game, which I believe for Kevin, we can find one here I missed. Oh, hello, sir. Down with you. Oh my god, they're coming. They're coming! I'll take the newspaper. You know what? That works, but uh, it's not what I'm looking for. There should be a trophy here, but I can't because there's an item. Just run through them. All right, that's one newspaper. I think, you know, I'm, I'm just going to collect all the files, then where we get to a safe pl place, when it's uh, which is upstairs on the roof, we're going to read them all. I think that's the smartest solution. We do need the lighter. Uh, someone dropped that, and there should be more. Yeah, that's already mixed. All right, you guys have been here, I can tell. <laughs> Some things you can't even do without certain characters. There are puzzles only certain characters can complete so if you want 100% completion you gotta play with all the characters at some point at least Son of a bitch. we can still do the bottle puzzle here I'm pretty sure and I, I'm not worried about my team because this shouldn't be really too much for us especially for a man that can run Kevin's the fastest character in the game of the main eight of the other possible characters, there's only one faster, and she's very hard to unlock. You only unlock her in the Cindy. Mark. in the second game. You guys good? You excuse need that me. those herbs? No idea. Excuse me. Here's what I'm thinking. Bob, we're all coming tonight. Home tonight. Oh, I love that. There you go. Because we have Mark and Bob here. Uh -huh. And that's cute. Not safe, but let's check it. At least we'll find something here. We got the lighter as well. Guys, we can make a shit ton of Molotovs. Here we go. I'll take the key. Mark, there's a pipe. Actually, Mark, we can trade, my boy. That's ammo for you. And this is ammo for me. So Kevin has the strongest pistol in the game. It's... Kevin's skill, well, his, like his unique, yeah. let's say his skill is kick. So even without a weapon equipped, 
with even with a weapon equipped, because all the other characters can tackle the zombies without weapons, he can have a weapon equipped and kick. Mark here can block almost all attacks, and Cindy can dodge. Those are the three characters we're playing with. All right, is that all? No files yes. here? Damn. Yes. It's all the special Press items yourself. I'm taking. All right, take your friend and go. We lost Cindy. Cindy's on crack tonight. She's just... we have to go. <laughs> I know it's normal, zombie, but they can still kill you. Hold on, I'll pot shot these assholes. Fuck you, leave my friends alone. When he does that, he initiates an insta crit. Go through me, go through me, go through me. Thank you. No problem. I am a Kevin after all. At your service, sir. Man, they die so dramatically from the... Oh? Can I kill him like this? Screw you, buddy. Oh, waitress, please. Here's what I'm thinking. I think friendly fire, like even on even normal, gets scary with friendly fire, guys. So papers can be read. Cindy combined one already. That's okay. Combine paper with bottle. Combine all that with lighter. I'm gonna put this on here. Hey, buddy, what the fuck? I'm gonna use this key. To start this thing here. Now Adlibus Adlibus would tell us this. Definitely. Something is written here, but it's hard to read. Sheet on the rooftop. Alright. Oh, they're gone already. Really? Well that was fast, guys. Ah That was really fast. Is Bob with us? I don't see Bob on our side. I see CD was hit. Having someone near her. Good. Why now? Oh, Mark, you're here. Okay. Going. Out of ammo. Hello there. That's oh, that's you. Okay. Hey, Tex. Uh -huh. Hey, Tex. That's that's a rare one. Hey. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, give it a rest. You good, Mark? I'm coming, buddy. Oh, oh man. What the hell? I just saw you in. Who opened the shutter? When did you open the shutter? No wow. idea. Bravo. He... He... Cindy wants to help you. Help me, please. Let's make more Molotovs. I'm gonna get out. Actually, Mark. Mark with the pistol should go out first, Cindy. Okay? Nope, never mind. <laughs> it's gonna never be mind. fun. No, Bob's here. No, Bob. Oh, no, he changed his mind. He was here. Then he was like, you know what? No, I'm not here. This place sucks. Oh, just don't ignore me, please. Strange customer guy. That's the guy who bit Will in the intro. No, I'm here. Turn around. Come on, bitch. No. <laughs> I said stop that. Talk to me. He doesn't want to talk to me. All right, I'm coming out, boys. It's uh, all four of them are climbing up, or six, how ma many, however, however many we have. All right, take your buddy. I'll take care of the crows. At least I'll try it. Oh wait, you need a weapon for that. Nice. Okay, so this cutscene can only be achieved with uh, I can't Bob and Mark anymore. up here. I know me, and I'm not gonna be someone else's burden. Bob, stop! No, you don't understand, Mark. I'm no different from them. So, so, please. 
Let me die while my conscience remains. It's pretty fucked up for a for an online Resident Evil game. So what they did was they had to cut down on the gore significantly, no deca decapitations and stuff like that. But they upped the swearing and they upped the actual, you know, like how did the civilians take the destruction of Raccoon City part? I love that. Now this is the easy bit. Like this is the easy version, so to say. No? Here we go. Ah, fuck my eyes! Stupid bird. Nice. I think I got one of them. Should I even use the 45 on them? Yes. The answer is yes. Let me shoot him, Cindy. I'll shoot him off of you. Run, Cindy. My gun is too strong, Cindy. Run. That's right. Bring it on, bitches. Thank you, Mark. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot the bastard. Ah. Not my beautiful neck. Oh, I got... I got betrayed. Oh. I told you guys, it's normal is enough when we're playing for a story run. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to shoot you. What oh, the? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, with friendly oh, fire oh, and this like story playing, normal is more than enough. Thank you, buddy. Get me in. Oh, they want my blood. Ah, oh, you want my blood. <laughs> Already 37. When that counter reaches 100, I'm a zombie. That's it. Sorry, that was by mistake. Waitress, help! The mad security guard wants to kill me. No, I want to kill this damn elephants. Or Let's go inside. Don't don't spray zombie. Let's go inside. We're gonna read the files we got here. <laughs> yeah. Pro, pro. Yeah, it's not elephants. It's over. Brother. Brother, poopy. You can't spray two people in uh, file one, so either tap my butt or spray my butt. Alright, Mark's next. I'm gonna reload my 45. My solid snake gun. I think Cindy should. Yeah, Cindy, do you wanna be the Molotov cocktail waitress? This is it. Yes, I think you should be, because we're the gun guys. He's a regular gun, I'm a. I'm a special gun guy, you be the cocktail waitress. Cocktail lady. Take this. I'll keep five for when I run out of ammo. But Mark should take the clip really. Or maybe just get the get another pistol for Mark. Mark is how's it going there, buddy? I didn't kill oh, There he is, the he's up there. You you kill the crows? Yeah. Huh? Western boots, so let's hey. read what we have. Oh my God. Newspaper. That's from the one of the newspaper where we made the uh, the Molotov cocktail. Don't go, guys. I'm just gonna read this. Daylight slaying. <laughs> Clouds loom over Raccoon City. RPD announced it will set up a special joint investigation yeah. HQ for a serial murder case in which over 30 murders have already occurred. Raccoon City is very lax with its murder <laughs> murders. While there is no connection between suspects, the methods in which the victims were slain are all similar. Ordering a joint investigation into the serial murders was the rational thing to do. Like when they say joint investigation, they they didn't mean zombie. I mean uh, Cindy's herbs. You guys good? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> uh, the scale and detail of the investigation has not yet been made public. The authorities have been avoiding announcing any details of the cases. They are sticking with that stance to prevent any copycat crimes from occurring. Rumor has it that a certain member of the press has obtained some information. The suspect was temporarily insane at the time of the incident. Thank you. Authorities continued to take a no comment, no comment stance on the factuality of these rumors. Yeah. The case seems quite problematic. And we have two special items, Will's diary, which reads, Cindy's smile is as beautiful as ever today. Will's the guy who gets bitten at the start of the game. So he was, we can glean from this, he was smitten with Cindy. And Western boots are a Kevin only special item which says a pair of wild looking boots i feel like a cowboy with these so that's one part of his costume set you actually have to assemble the costumes in this hello oh it's blocked by something someone's holding the door so you can do this in this game to prevent monsters from coming in 
But you can also prevent your friends from coming in <laughs> or coming out of the door. Good to see you. Good to see you, Lupka. We were worried about you. How are you? Zombie was like, where's Lupka? I'm not going to do this without Lupka. He really did ask about you. Okay. All right, we're all ready. Yeah. Um, Mark, you know what? Give me one of those guns and uh, Cindy, you take this. You're the cocktail waitress. No, that's for Cindy. Cindy. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, so I'm the pistol arrow. And who wants to be the, on the lighter duty? Cocktail waitress? No, she needs that slot to take some uh, herbs out. All together. So it's zombie and mammon. I was gonna be like, who's the third one? Oh yeah, I'm third. <laughs> it's zombie and mammon and me. We're it's doing third. The, the, uh, it's so kind. What? what it's so kind to call someone a turd. No, who's the third? Third. third. So you're making me spit into the yeah. camera. Third. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the raccoon police is outside in front of the bar we just escaped from. All right, civilians, let officer do something. I wonder where in the hell the logic okay, was. On the side. Hold on, here we go. Hold Huge. on, civilians. I gotta listen to my jump. Jump to another, and then go down to another building. Yeah, like, literally the building. Well, it kind of reflects there. the panic, doesn't it? It's kind of true. Really. Father in heaven. <laughs> Kind of true that it looks like the door in front of us is potentially kind of the road thing. Yeah, yeah, the one, of, what, yeah, bravo, it's like the end of the end of the road, that's straight ahead of us, right? No, it's actually to the left of us, it's over right there. there. Yeah, yeah, let's go, two minutes left. No comment from this guy, oh, I didn't do the lighter puzzle, that's okay, can't do a, it's a story run, it's a different kind of Resident Evil, so you can't, you can't do anything. <laughs> Mammon, Mammon is just quiet today. <laughs> so this is where the lighter puzzle would end if I did it properly. We would find, a, I think, a shotgun or a spear in normal difficulty. Go on, citizens. Sexy Kevin is on the case. Actually, normal pistol would do it. Sorry. So that exit would be blocked. Ow! Dude! Run! So many doors. Yeah, they're so all closed. It's just deceiving. Yeah. Well, originally, so let's just hold on for a sec. Originally, we got, got out of there. Well, I got to get the rest of the map. But originally, we would come out. Well, I need the map to show it. This is Jay's bar where we started. We went all the way up, up to the roof of this building, went down. But originally, in the development was planned, we would use an elevator behind the bar. And right behind the bar is also the Apple Inn Hotel, which is the setting of the fourth scenario. So the party would split. The game went through so much development hell, it was released in like 20% of what they originally planned. You wanna spray yes, uh, someone? No, we're all good. But my what my virus is slowing down, so we gotta we gotta hurry. Kevin has very fast viral gauge. See that? So when, when I open the inventory, I can talk over cutscenes. <laughs> you startled me. I'm surprised you're still alive. The whole city's a war zone. We need all the help. No shit, get. like people screaming around them. Now. Move the police car over there to build a barricade. Go! How's the how's the game volume compared to our volume? That's something I want to ask. If it's too loud, let me know people to lower the game volume. I'm just like keeping it like this because it's good to hear what they're actually saying without subtitles. That's my colleague, Raymond. Raymond, right? That's Raymond. So we got we got the map. We can get the RPD cap special item here. Get the get the shotgun. Can you get the shotgun? Mark, yeah, you do that, I'll get the cap here. RPD cap special item, there we go. And then, I'll push the car.
Nice, nice. Okay, that's that's. Thank you. That's that's really good to hear, Lagstorm. You 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 <laughs> you really brought a smile to my face with that car. Zombies keep coming. Run, Mark. Run. I'll push the car. It's crazy. Nice. Okay, we did it. We helped it Officer bad. Raymond. They're getting closer. We gotta go. Raymond Douglas. He's my favorite RPD police officer from all Resident Evil games. <laughs> Alright, Cocktail Waitress, this is your game. I'm just gonna hold them off with the pot shots. Let's not shoot each other. And uh, Cocktail Waitress burns, that's all. Uh, I'm coming, sir. I'm coming. I just... Oh, Cindy, that's like horrible timing for everything. <laughs> what is it, boy? The waitress is on strike. <laughs> like, what? My cocktail waitress betrayed me. In the face. Ah, what? Did you take a bullet in the face, fucker? <laughs> he did not care for that. It's, I'm not the room master. So one thing about Outbreak, how they solved multiple people being able, you know, to be at different po points and different times at the same time, is whoever enters the room, as in like any room in the game first. Oh shit, you okay there, mama? They're the room master, which means they're the host of that uh, in-game room, right? Will you please die, sir? There you go. One bullet left. Cindy, you good? Everyone's up. There we go. So if zombie, for instance, loads zombie child loads into the room before me, he's the host of their room. He doesn't have lag. Everybody else has, Shit. and vice versa. Hey, listen. You should go now. Hey, Liz. The Are bravest police to... officer of RPD. Ah, that's a fuel tank. What did you say, man? The gas and use it to burn these I mean, he doesn't even say a name. He says Eli. It's a very what? generic term. L-I, right, right here. A-L-L-I-E-S. L-I, L-I. L-I's? Like L-I's? Yeah, where yeah. did you see that? Uh, it's what Raymond say. Or at least it's what I hear since years. And I expected that they were not even defined on who was uh, the characters playing there. Oh, he says, hey, listen. That's a fuel tank. He says, hey, listen, that's a fuel tank. Use it to... Leave the gas and use it to burn these bastards. So it's not allies, it's hey listen. I know, that's why subtitles are important. That's why I like the European version with subtitles. <laughs> For that reason, even though the subtitles are off. Alright, so now that we've done that, I'm just gonna burn this joint. Having the lighter here helps. You can pick it up from Raymond as well, but we know the game so we picked it up ahead of time. So, some things are different on different difficulties in this game. Again, a lot of replayability, and one of them, like on very hard uh, multiplayer, and on hard and very hard single player, Bob doesn't get to kill himself, he zombifies, and he's one of the enemies. And here, it's not the zombies, it's the mutated earwigs bugs. Either you get wet or you get dead. If I were you, I'd get my ass in. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Out of the five. Okay, Kevin's full of puns, as you can see. Do or die. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> one of the one of the requirements for hundred percenting the game. One of the quests, side quests you got to do in this scenario is die in this cutscene. So instead of jumping down, you got to wait for the fire to spread enough, and but not be in the fire because then you'll instantly die. I don't know if that counts, but as far as I know, this cutscene's gotta kill you, the explosion. Good. Alright, let's move in. God, damn it. Did you find it? The shadow behind me, see that? It's really annoying, it just started appearing last week. And I figured out why, because normally I stream like this. Are you okay? It's the headset that's casting the shadow on the green screen. So I gotta, I gotta figure a workaround. I gotta move my lights or something. Because <laughs> normally I stream, you know, with my headset around my neck. Oh, thanks, Lupka. Ah, the cocktail waitress has gone crazy. She's trying to kill me, sir. 
<laughs> I got one bullet left for you, ma'am. One bullet is all I need. Seven bullets is all I need for you, Chris. Nobody wants to go for it. I'll do it. I'm the police officer. I should sacrifice myself for the good of the. Ah! That's my walking spine. Nobody. <laughs> I love you guys. That was wonderful. Like everyone's thinking the same thing. And that's why we like Friendly Fire. We love it a lot. Did I hydrate? I'll do it again. I don't know. <laughs> all right. But before we. So I'm going to go around, read the file, and all that. Before we. Continue before we talk to Douglas. No, wait, what's his face? Uh, barricade man. I'll uh, can I even do that here? Here we go. My la one last bullet. Nah, let me try again. I want one of you to go back to the sewers because this is something you can't see in the oh, okay. I was gonna try again. Let's see. I'm really curious. I don't think I can take you off the ladder like that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you just fell into the hole. I know that. Uh, it's a slaughterhouse because Kevin, <laughs> did you fall in? <laughs> oh my. Wait for me to read the file. Okay, don't come back up, Mammon, unless you want to do something here. Cindy got that. All right, so this part's blocked off by a car. My car is blocking away, obviously. An ordinary trash can, most likely nothing but garbage inside. I gotta explore, I gotta check more things, but this game really makes you rush. There's no sign of any humans, they might have evacuated. There's a deli. There's the apple inn. So remember this location, if you've never seen us play this before. That's where the fourth scenario will happen, that's what I was talking about earlier. Here's the, here's Jay's bar, where we started the game. So, like this building. There it is, outside. And here's Eppelin, where uh, this area, where fourth scenario will happen. Thanks. There's an officer of the RPD, we're not gonna talk to him yet, because there's a file here to check. Raccoon Today, an eerie voice from underground. Recently there, is, recently there is spooky talk around South Campbell Street. It is said that groans can be heard from the drainage system at night. It is easy to dismiss it as a ghost story that middle school students love to talk about on camping nights. But the amount of missing people has increased rapidly at this locale for the past month. Eight people have gone missing. Strangely, the missing people have a lot in common. They are all single white females aged 18 to 23 with beautiful blonde hair. Do you, do you, get, do you recognize the handiwork of a Resident Evil uh, villain? We know. <laughs> The street was uh, wrapped in a dense fog the day after they went missing. From the sewer drain, which now runs north-south along the street, a woman's constrained voice could be heard for several hours. And nobody went in to check it out, because why would we? <laughs> of course, the drainage sewers have been thoroughly investigated, but neither the missing person nor any traces have been found. The police department has so far denied the relationship with the bizarre incidents that have rapidly increased after the mansion incident of RE1. However, the events must be related. So this is talking about actually Chief Irons, Brian Irons from Resident Evil 2. That's his MO. Literally that, like the way they said it. What was it? Raccoon Today. Single white females aged 18 to 23 with beautiful blonde hair. That's uh, Chief Brian's MO. And he was already snapping about this time. A zombie's uh, board here. Taxi stopped. All seats are bloody. And uh, yeah, that's what he was up to in the final days before the outbreak. Slightly shot for now. Alright, so let's talk to these people and then... Hold on, zombie. Hey, what the hell is going on? I just saw a couple next to me start biting each other's faces all of a sudden. This is ridiculous. Yeah. It's almost laughable. Take us to the police station already, man. I gotta do this quick because that's how long you have to read. Damn, they're not here yet? What's taking so long? And the other one says, Ha ha ha, how could this all happen? I feel like I'm being forced to watch some B-horror movie. You're trying to laugh at my expense, right? Please say you are. Oh. Oh, can't go here. Still looking door one open. All right, we're ready. Mammon, stay there. Mm -hmm. I agree, actually, Gavin. I have less sympathy for him than for Oswald E. Spencer. <laughs> 
All right, Officer Dorian. That's Officer Dorian. He loves doors, but he dislikes barricades. You're about to find out why. All right, so offline you'll never see this, but here the cutscene's over. We're waiting for the last of the players. Pipe construction seems to be going. Mammon climbs up, and then the cutscene starts. You don't see these things playing offline. That's it then. Get in, please. What about the other two people, officer? Oh, fuck them, just leave them. <laughs> we don't care about them, they're just complaining about the police. The yeah, too dangerous. they did. We're taking side streets. Damn! Another barricade. As you can see, there are too many roadblocks. I'm afraid you'll have to get out and continue on foot. Continue on foot. Yes, it is, Gamut. Yes, it is. Like how how sick he is with that's why our Resident Evil 2 Brian Irons is so pathetic because he's just a rabid dog. He has no personality of the original Brian Irons, which was he was genuinely scary at first when you meet him. You don't know if you're supposed to be working with this guy or not, but then uh then he reveals his two colors. By the way, don't trigger the next cutscene. I say let's have Kevin trigger it. Kevin or Cindy, I would say. Actually, you know what, whoever. Because what 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 is canonical you know i have come through this path but it's blocked by a different car how did that happen i don't know so here's the route we took look look how long it, he drove us so we met we met him here this was the where i said it's blocked by a car it's that street just up north he just he, he just drove us like like for less than a minute and then ran into a barricade how did we pass this i don't know just roll with it they had to make the game work we can we can get more weapons here, so I'll take my... Yeah, that. Can I take it? No. Thank you. No, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, so we're set. I'll take my 45. And there's a special ad lib here, so let's go. I can't leave here. Sorry, but please walk from here. Listen, go and search your fo for our fellow cops. I couldn't read that too fast. And figure out what happened to the Raccoon City. Kevin, you must survive for that matter. Survive, no matter what. So it's different. Kevin has unique dialogue with his colleagues. That's true. How responsible they are! How dare they leave us in a place like this? They told us to walk all the way, as if it can can't. <laughs> I'll do it my way. I won't. Don't want to die yet. I'm not gonna move. All right. Those are the two people from outside. This this is it. Looks like I'm What's for dinner. Up? Oh, sorry, Margaret. I don't think I can come home ever again. Oh. All right. So my officer. I, man, I didn't read that sentence, but I'll find it <clears throat> in the vault later. Now, if nobody picked it, and I hope they didn't... No, Cindy! Damn it. So if Kevin takes the Magnum, he actually has a special admin for it. Can you give it to me? Let's see. Let's see. Wait, wait. There we go. Yeah. So that's Kevin's type of weapon. Some things only happen in certain situations. There's no sign of humans inside a building. There's new use in crying for help. Yes. Sir, please behave into the next room with you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whoever gets there triggers the cutscene. I don't care. Thank you. <laughs> oh. God. I wanted to shoot you inside the cutscene. Yeah, you but did. It no, you did. You should shot me into the cutscene. I love, I love how like Kevin Mitchell. really looks and sounds like Henry uh, Townsend from Silent Hill 4 in that scene. That beard and that close up and those eyes and he going like, oh god. Totally Henry Townsend. Pardon me. Pardon me, boys. I just had to call. So um, Hurry up. Hmm. Here we Do go. For I love seeing this. How did the police... So this is stuff you see in the intro to Resident Evil 3. You never actually explore it in games, save for here. Now we don't count fucking Operation Raccoon City. Nobody counts that. Captain doesn't count that. <laughs> Though some concepts from... Unused concepts from Outbreak did end up in Operation Raccoon City. They usually put them next to each other. Oh... Can you touch my butt, waitress? Let's try Cindy's skill. Yeah, we'll touch your butt. Oh, thank Thanks. you, ma'am. 
That one tap, tap made me all light. All right, you and I go in. We go, yo, look at Cindy all armed. We start shooting shit. Cindy, uh, Cindy's gonna, who's gonna do the bomb actually? Doesn't matter, let's just try to survive. Let's talk Wait. to my colleague. Harry, the brave man. Kevin, you showed up just in time. We're friends, right? Please help me. Hey, go and activate the detonator. It's right next to Eric's body. You saw where we set the explosives, right? Here, you can use this gun, please. So again, special dialogue for Kevin. I guess it pays to have friends in high places. Like Cindy here, ha <laughs> ha. Get it? Cause we... Did I just shoot Cindy? I was, I was sure as shit I'm not gonna shoot Cindy and I shot Cindy. I'm so sorry, Cindy. I would never shoot you. You're my favorite waitress. You're my favorite cocktail waitress. So we need to assemble the bomb parts. Right. I'm gonna get out. Oh, I'm gonna get a one bomb part there. I'm the officer, I should do this. Civilians, let me help you by shooting you with my super precise 357 Magnum. That's it for the Magnum? Oh wait, there's another one. There you go. Right, I need the other part of the detonator. Gonna go and get it. I think it's here. Yeah, there's Eric's body. Oh, how do I do this? I guess you just go combine the main unit with the head. Oh, there you go. You got a detonator. That was easy. I'll help. No, you can't shoot Cindy. I think I'll shoot Cindy. No, it's okay. Down, boy. All right, Mark, we got to clear around my colleague's dead body so we can do this. Several wires are scattered around here. I could use the detonator here. Yeah. Normally, we wouldn't do it like this, but we're trying to be cinematic here. All right, thank you, my friends. It's time to go. Unless you want to kill something else. But otherwise, it's time to go. Run, Mark, run! Sorry. All right, let's okay. go. Ah, I see fire. Cindy's, Cindy's trying to kill me. <laughs> yeah, the civilians are starting to lose patience. Yeah, it's time. It's time, friends. <laughs> I'm loving this. It's different than we play. <laughs> what happened? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bravo, guys. Especially zombie. I know this takes a lot of patience <laughs> on this part to play slow like this. No, some zombie loves us. He's doing it for the love. And there we go. That's why Raccoon City is fucked up in, in RE3. Yes, Happy barbecue. Come to our happy barbecue Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, what, what day Amy was it? For everyone. I think it's early hours. GG, zombie. GG. <laughs> I think it's early hours of September 24th. How did I forget that? It's like my religion. <laughs> Actors, policemen. Where were they when we needed, we required them? And where are we going? I mean, the road in front of us now is destroyed. Maybe we what just hell? didn't realize things had been going wrong for a long time. Dead people wander the city in search of the living. Huh. When that becomes normal, I know you that remark that it's exactly the same plan. I mean, the, the same street we're just rolling over again and again with different camera plans. Hold on, hold on. Here we go, yeah, that's how it started. I don't know how Leon and Claire got through the barricades, but just like go with it. Alright, ma'am, I'm sorry. I was playing I was letting the cutscenes play so people can hear. Because it's a story marathon after all. I so think that um, the same street that it's going on. I mean that we are going through, but with different camera plans that are set. Which one? This cutscene, the, the final one where uh, your director is speaking. Ah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's the area behind, so it's the environmental area behind there. I'm um, sorry, the apartment area, <laughs> environmental, apartment area. So here we go, and this, even though we tried to do a lot, so this is personal, this is for every character, it's only 48% of what this scenario has to offer that we've done here, what we've seen, what we've done. There's a lot to do, and there's a lot of replay value. I talk about it all the time. If you're ever interested, if you've never seen this game, 
in the right way and you're interested, then drop by. We do this often in many ways. Below freezing point, Mammon? Yeah. You think you'll you could be there? Well yeah, you can yeah. Mm, there's Love it. <laughs> but who knows if I will be going for dinner soon or not, because nineteen forty five Yeah, I mean it is your like if you're doing birthday dinner with your family, that's different than you know your regular dinner. We don't wanna bug you to come back. <laughs> to make me to come back. I know you wouldn't. Yeah, that's what I said. That's why I'm like, just just so we know what's happening, you know. Yeah. What's next? Uh, it's still story run. Story done. Yeah, we'll just call him story run. Uh, two, story three, three, time. Six. Your it, kids, let's tell you a super story. Okay, I'm gonna be oh. regular Yoko, because this is Yo. Basically, this is Yoko's scenario. Uh, no, not very hard. I almost fucked it up. Just force of habit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that shout out of me, <laughs> Luca. And you. Uh, could you please do a shout out of Great Gamut here? Another shout out for uh, Lagstorm. Gammy always gets a sh shout out. Think? 2236, yeah. But maybe I should shorten the passwords off. It's yeah, easy for a man with a keyboard to do that. I think for sure David was planned in this scenario considering the old pictures we can find with the UBCS. Like Miguel, Hank. Yeah. So Hank was yeah. supposed to be a part of this scenario along with his team, one of whom is a, a person called Miguel. Now, Miguel and Hank can be hacked into the game. Hacked. <laughs> They're in the game. There are a lot of characters that were never, you know, their scenarios weren't finished. For instance, if you take your Outbreak File 2 game, it can patch your Outbreak File 1 save and enable a lot of characters. But Miguel, Hank, and some of them are not the part of that. Though people have been able to, you know, edit the code and just, you know, hack them in, sort of. All right, Sasha's right. I gotta, I gotta prepare the meal for the kitty. So, oh, so just like two minute break. Don't go anywhere. We have eight minutes on the clock. The players are here. Member list. Uh, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back with more outbreak marathon story run. We're doing Resident Evil marathon, people. That's it. I'm not even gonna put the thing. Uh, be right back or any, or any of that. Just like stay here. Mammon, you can entertain the audience. You don't have to. Zombie, be quiet, please. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not. <laughs> uh, zombie, please be quiet. You're too loud today. That's such just bullshit. Poor zombie. Oh. Then maybe we could tell about some fun facts. One fun fun fact was that nobly there should have been several more rooms in Wild Things. If you remember the map of Wild Thing, where there's the service road, there's a kind of zone that is marked by, by an agriculture machine. And potentially it should have led somewhere else. Also, there should have been a sequence where the elephant is pursuing you around the zoo. Then another theory we can have now is about Underbelly. Potentially, the, there is an old picture where there is a boiler room with blood. So potentially, it could have led. I mean, it could have been part of Underbelly, but I'm not sure about that. Flashback had a different version of its uh, music in the hospital, which is way better. I mean, it it settles down the ambience with the let's say 30 seconds or 20 seconds that are taken away from the original or, or at least from the, from the version that is, part, that is available in Final 2 which is sad I mean, to it and there should have been a longer forest part 
which could have been a bit more misleading since the forest has no settled map. All you can do is either draw it by yourself or you do it from memory. Which is quite an interesting element of the game. For desperate times, I think that the, the fact they've taken away all of the west west zone, if I'm not mistaken, I try to remember west or east. I mean, the second floor door to the to the left side, or the door that led to normally Marvin's office, and all the zones that are at least leading to several rooms taken away. I guess they did cut parts out because maybe the scenario would have been too long that instead he did put this nerve gas in the plate system. Finally, for end of the road, we can see that two circles are complete, the north and the east one, but not the west. By the way, it could have been very funny to know where, where it could have led the east exit. Because there should have been, for example, uh, how it's called? Uh, I tried to remember the word. Not a staircase. Not an elevator. I forgot in the word. But he could have accessed where uh, Linda is thrown a lot earlier, which is very quirky here. <clears throat> For file one, as he stated, there should have been an elevator back behind, and potentially it could have been much wider level since one part of the of the people would have gone to to the Hellfire scenario directly. Also, the hosp the hospital had several rooms taken away. I mean, the extern the outside of the of, of the hospital was taken away. What else? BFP also implied potentially the idea of going instead of going B B eight F towards the exit in the outside. Potentially, I think it should have been the reverse that you were appearing at the top and that you would have to go down. A bit like Resident Evil Two, kind of. Decisions, decisions is a very, very, very fun scenario because I find that some rooms are similar to Resident Evil 1. The, the, the real Resident Evil 1, so it's pretty interesting. And I find you know, interesting how it's much wider than all the other scenarios in terms of times. And finally, if we speak of Hellfire, there should have been a variant of the grenade launcher that has that had blue line grenades, it would have been fire repellent, which could have been interesting for Aver Hellfire and End of the Road. Also making the possibilities multiple of which kind of use could have been done for those. Well, thank you for that, Mammoth. <laughs> I had fun. Well, uh, Sasha's hey. watching on the on her phone downstairs, so I was well as feeding the kitty i could i could hear that it's wonderful man thank you you're a great co-host and i appreciate having you here brother could be whole police oh zombies commenting oh my god this is best stream and i'm not even there <laughs> are you ready guys yeah <laughs> Yeah, many changes were made. The game was originally envisioned as an open-world Raccoon City-based Resident Evil game. That's a good... I love this team, guys. Great team. Bravo. Bra fucking I mean, Great team for games. Below Freezing Point story run. When Sorry? you look at the graphics of several games nowadays, a Resident Evil open-world that would take the base of Outbreak and, and include all the scenarios, I would even be ready to pay for DLCs for this. Man, I would pay like I would give. <laughs> Still, my kid. I mean, that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're planning to do Resident Evil 4 uh, remake, three remake, and they plan to do what? To do remakes of the remakes afterwards? No turning back now. Don't be cowards! Give us a great game like Outbreak back and just include everything that was taken away.
that would be just like having this these games ported as i always say people would be thankful i mean even the characters i mean they're they're a very, i mean i can represent myself to david alisa yoko i mean i cannot yeah. represent myself to resident evil 6 leon and stuff like that that would, I mean, we got the Resident Evil. Resident Evil go. like, like, I love, you, people know, I love Resident Evil 6. Apparently, it's my favorite over the show Resident Evil somehow. But it's very fun to play and all that. But man, that Leon's campaign, how can people love that shit? It's just so insulting sometimes. Especially near the end. It's insulting to everything Leon was. Like, pff, kiddo, grind trees, and what's that for you? You were with me just in the Resident Evil campaign. All forgiven. Freedom. Here we go. Alyssa. I mean... I did. The mechanic is funny. M mechanic of the game is funny. The game is interesting to play, even if it feels more like a shooter rather than a survival horror. Right. Yeah, the you can move. Is... You have a lot of freedom to go with that action. Oh, action David, David, David. You know what to do, David. Oh, no. oh, move a little back. Move back. No, no, move back. I'm behind you because I I'll step over the boundary. So just go behind. There you go. No, not... Hold on, hold on. There you go. That counts. That counts. <laughs> oh, poor Yogi. So, sh once they're done, I'm gonna summarize this scenario. I assume that you went and hid under a rock like the little child that you are. What is that capsule? Wait, wait. Are you after this too? Hmm. You are, aren't you? Oh, you are so... Stop it. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Don't play the innocent little girl with me. You can't fool me. You could never fool me. But maybe we can work something out. Give me your ID card. Dem is having a seizure right now from happiness. It's my last magic card, please! No! Yoko, you little lifesaver. I'm so glad I can complete my Kapakimon connection now. Have a nice life. Or what's left of it? Have a nice life. What's left of it? So yeah, the, the premise of this <laughs> scenario is... So, in Outbreak scenario, the first one we played, all eight characters star in it. But like I said, originally the party would... <laughs> the party would split. Don't rush Alyssa. The party would split. And survivors would try to escape in different ways. Uh, Yoko would... Wow, I'm already cautioned. What the hell happened? Two wrenches and I'm dead. Uh, Yoko would take two survivors with her and uh, bring them here. Because Yoko worked here. She's she's part of Umbrella. She was well, one of Umbrella's staff from this facility. The facility... This is literally where we finish Resident Evil 2. So we're going to go the opposite way upstairs. Which is what Hunk and his team would be doing. They would be going from the top to bottom and we see that in a Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City it's not really interesting not nearly as this so yeah here we go yes I do gamut possibly a device to open the gate there's no need to operate it can we yeah I, I was always disappointed you can't even enter the train the door is tightly shut this is an elevator with a broken control panel the shutter is down I don't think it can go any further so we got to go up Yoko was hoping to bring the survivors to safety but it didn't work by the way, for those of you who don't know, SP items, special items are... Oh no, I see what's gonna happen. I think this may be something. <laughs> Yoko is gonna be the bully tonight. <laughs> I am Yoko, I get to be bullied. <laughs> special items are normally invisible, well, no, they're invisible items. They have different spawning uh, logic in file 1 and file 2, but uh, basically they depend on uh, difficulty, the scenario SP items, or if there are character specific SP item, they can contribute to making a new costume for that character. Nothing here because it's normal. The zombie, I know. Oh my god. Can't go up. So this is the elevator. The the ow. Oh, this is the ow. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. We gotta entertain Gamut somehow. This is the elevator Leon, or actually Claire, because Claire, Claire A is a canonical scenario. Claire would take this elevator down to confront, well, actually, both of them would. No, actually, Leon, yeah, Leon would take 
the one downstairs that we've just seen that's broken and Claire would take this one though this is happening before Resident Evil 2 you know some things had to be retconned to fit the scenarios but we don't mind we, like the game works anything <laughs> after Resident Evil 8 final moments uh, like that document bomb which I can't wait to show off on stream nothing can be bad really so B6F East Passway I don't need to be here yet but I'm hoping my friend Alyssa is here with me if you're playing okay. single player you're playing with bots bots have personalities you get two bots to play with they can solve puzzles limited and do other things and uh, well actually you know what maybe eat one of those you want to read the library for me, Mo? Oh, um... oh, yeah, sure. If you find a file you want to read it, man, go for it. Okay. Oh. Umbrella number 20. Makes umbrella number 3rd. And VP 017. Changes color to Auburn when mixed. Very potent with pesticides. They're effective against plants. Careful handling is required. So it's the same <laughs> recipe for like in RE1, right? I think they, I, I'm sure they should have been a much more difficult thing for the for the mix. And then they decided to just reduce it because it reminds me how you create the, the vigil for plant 40. Yeah, yeah, it's the same chemicals, that's what I meant. I think it's exactly the same chemicals. Enter no office oh, Due to several misplaced material incidents, we have decided to introduce a passcode system. This new system in Plamandon, we will be able to check and log each time the cabinet doors have been opened or closed. Oh, yeah. This increase in security should cut down on material mishandling. At the same time, we are currently organizing the chemical cabinet. This task should be finished by early next week. No kidding. Finally, please take note that this information is confidential. It should be understood that our company will prosecute all offenders to the extent of the law. Passcode 0634 and of administration D. Walter Ryan. What? Oh, it could be funny if I was reading with David's voice. Yes! Yeah, it would be. Mm. The power of Yoko, crawl away from danger. That was really good, ma'am, and I can still play while you read the document. Why didn't I think of that? Because, yeah, <laughs> thank you. So what I did here, viewers, is uh, I didn't have to do it, but I did it because we're doing a story run. I got this frozen wrench with a need to thaw here. Quite warm water, frozen wrench. Dip it, melted away the ice. We got a wrench. So we can access the thing without the wrench, but, you know, this is the way... Alyssa, there's a locker here for Alyssa. She'll deal with that later. What? Zombies coming in, so I gotta hurry. It still saddens me the fact that they didn't yes, do foul three, and the voice actor for David died um, a very bit after file two release. Uh, wasn't it after file one released? Oh my God! Here we go. I'm alive. I think. Yoko's lab coat special item. Got it. I'm I'm alive. I'm still alive somehow. Just run. There There's no more special way items. Way but fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> will zombie read his files? Yeah, zombie. Will you read your files? Wouldn't that be lovely? He surprises. Well, he's a journalist. She cannot read the files because she has sources and she has to keep them secret. Kitty. That's why. The kid is going crazy. Oh. oh shit, I ran straight into his bite. Oh my god, it's my appendix you just bit into, bastard. Oh, this will just heal her fully. It's Yoko. Her, she's got very low HP. No yeah, way you can have a voice like David and not be a heavy smoker, says Gamut. You know? Oh, I agree. Item pack. So the team downstairs Ew. did something. <laughs> they. They made a v, v jolt to kill off this weed. And uh, that's why I say it's different doing Outbreak story runs and why Outbreak is so easy for me to be something that I stream all no the time. Because there's so many variables. So one team on one floor, they both ended up on B7F, would have to do that. 
Well, on D6F, I have to secure this valve. Then I'm going to use the valve to open this security door. Now, while the team, we can meet up on, on the other side as well. I'm just going to check if there's ammo here to stock up for everyone. Please, Here's Alyssa. All right. She needs to do the locker, so I'll go with her. That's her protector pal. Thanks to the sewer maintenance administrator, it seems Umbrella's general director has said. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Shocker. Thank you so much. Over there. Well, I, when I speak, I just look like yeah. I just smoke way too many cigarettes. <laughs> Despite I never smoke. Let's hurry. And don't smoke. It's bad. Well, read it. Oh, they're still there, zombie. Hey, hey. Maybe we killed them. Wait, I saw a pipe somewhere. I'm gonna try to help. I them to death. No, he's coming for you. No, he's coming for me. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Keep, keep. I'll keep him busy. To the corner with you, sir. Thank you. I hope it's a shotgun. Anyone? Anyone? What others? You're the only survivor. Not no, don't hide now. Yeah, you can hide. I keep forgetting to talk about that at all. Watch out! Watch out! Excuse me. Dodgerama. Go. There's Yoko's lab coat, which you can read later. Oh, here we go. A lab coat Yoko wore when she worked at this lab. You're Yoko. Why are you reading that in third person? Is there another one? No, it's not here. The protective glasses. Maybe there? Nah. Let's go. Let's go! In the formula for the characters, if there is not a kind of multiplier depending on the character for the knife, because Yoko and David won't do the same amount of damage using the knife. Well, y y David likes Yoko, power. remember? It's one of the things I read in the manual when you read about their uh, relationships. Nice. So David got the best, best knife for David. Thank you. Yeah. Here's this for you, buddy, in case you get into trouble. Right. This is it. I'm a true Yoko now. Gonna stack my backpack with first aid sprays. Oh shit! 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 Oh. I'll help you, David. Just as long as I don't hit someone. Right. That's okay. Thanks. Yoko, thanks. Thank you. So easy to kill them on normal, huh? Yoko. <laughs> Everybody's giving Yoko stuff. Is there anything else left in the break room? Nah, we got everything. Alyssa, you know what? I was gonna say, Alyssa, use this one. Why not? We don't have to save. It's fucking normal. We'll have plenty of help. Just use it. We don't have enough space for all this, honestly. There's an antivirus if somebody needs it. Well, there you go, you take the valve. You look... <laughs> you look like you can turn the valve better than than the average Yoko. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I don't know how I got that, but... That's right, stay back. Or I'll just run away from you. <laughs> Stay back or I'll run away from you. What the hell? It's, it's the same action twice. Open what, Yoko? There's nothing to open. Oh. Really, someone with... Um, one of you should take this center bar. Don't don't punch the codes in, zombie. If you're doing that, we're gonna we're gonna find the document or use the card. We're we're, we're doing the story around. We're not doing shortcuts Good. Not too much. Thanks. Oh, there he is. Sorry, I thought you was stuck behind. So if I hadn't picked up the valve, a lot of these zombies wouldn't wake up. They would still be asleep. Oh. Too late. Too late for is what? There no way to open this? Is this another? What? It's the wrench. <laughs> oh David God. left us a clue. Is it there? Nah, it's downstairs. No. This is okay for me. 
this tempo is quite different than what we're used to. I do ask for one thing, let me bomb the bastard, please. So, uh, David or Alyssa, I think David should take this. His VG is faster. And he's more exposed with the knife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alyssa has a pistol. Go now. Alyssa has a pistol. Yoko has a gun. Move. Fuck the pipe. Yes. Oh, that's acid shit. We can't get both. Wait, did we exchange? Did you exchange? You didn't exchange. Did you exchange the, the spray? Never. Nah, okay. Yeah. No, you did. They did. Oh, okay. I had four sprays. We got four. Oh, okay, okay. So what they did was exchange yeah. one of the sprays. Let's go. Fuck it. Uh, sure. One of the sprays, yeah, with the su surviving researcher for a shotgun. Man, this game is really hard to do a story run for because anything can be a story run in this game. You can't ever cover everything, but it's still as fun as always. Come on, come on, come on! You won't move! Why? What? Oh, give me a break. I find it easier to just play very hard friendly fire like we play than to actually, you know, try to explain everything as I'm trying to get my face, stay on my face, on my head. Because <laughs> I like to joke zombies try, trying to eat my face. Oh, that's sick fucks trying to eat my foot. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Alright, so as Yoko... <laughs> Ah, that is a great meme, Gamut. If that doesn't exist, I hereby ask for your permission to turn that into a meme. I think this may be something. I got. I gotta make a clip of that, Gamut. That's fucking. Just make a clip of that and just write underneath every <laughs> RE player. Thirty-nine, fifteen. Take it, Alyssa. Take this ammo. Yoko. Because we can stack. There you go. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine for both of us. No SP item, but here. Oh shit! Ow. The shutter is down. I wonder what happened here. This is where Leon and Claire would go. Monthly passcode while they're kicking a zombie. <laughs> As of the first day of this month, the passcode settings have been changed. Please be advised that last month's code will become invalid at 12 a.m. On the day the new passcode is initiated. And then we got two passcodes. We can use... I'll do two before I can get to the... Alrighty, man. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I think we'll still be here by the time you eat, but we'll see. Just go okay. somewhere where you'll be definitely safe once... Uh, to the duct. I would say go up, go to the turntable and go up. So nothing can kill you, but... Yeah. So the timer can kill you, you know? You. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I'll go fast. We'll just be a minute. Oh, no worries, no worries. So Mammon's gonna go eat, he'll probably rejoin us for the next scenario. We'll try to save him keep him alive which is not going to be easy but we'll try when handling these codes so they are not leaked to outside sources administration division oh in the yeah we gotta run there's a zombie let's go we gotta try to get that weapon so something only yoko can do here any other survivor will just waste it where are you oh there's no one here it's it's normal there's no two zombies here Right, I'll lure him, zombie, then I'll dodge, and then he can suck it. That's, that's Carter, that's Carter zombie, a broken shotgun. David could fix it, but David's indisposed. We got another memo we'll read later. Though we might see, so Mammon, before you go, stop before, damn, if you can make it, man. I would really appreciate it. Don't talk to Carter yet. Zombie, I'm gonna hurry. I'm gonna try to trigger computer room desertion because Mammon's gonna go through the sh shaft thingy. Already third table. I'm oh, doing that. You're fast, man. Okay, never mind. Just go. I Just no keep going. What I should do. Okay. So there's there's an umbrella researcher. Oh. Are you Yoko? I'm surprised. Didn't think you'd come back. Come for the okay. test subject sample. I hear Monica's also after the sample. We know it's out of her league. We gotta talk fast. <laughs> That sample is Dr. Birkin's masterpiece, you know. Masterpiece. Sometimes keeping your hands to yourself is a good to rule to live by. Take this with you. I don't need it anymore. Blah. And he died. So I'm gonna drop this herb here, zombie, because it's like the least useful item we have. You know what? Fuck it. Here's all the ammo. We'll save some spot. You, you be the shooter of the pistols, I'll be the shooter of the shotguns. That's how we're gonna do it. Well, he thank you so much. Right, we got the Magnum. No answer, he seems to have passed out. 
Definitely not dead. Recognize this from RE2? The P4 laboratory? Oh, nice. You killed them all. Bravo. Without the card or the password, we can't do anything here. So we're gonna go find the card. I know, zombie. I'm used to it just being open. <laughs> Come, kitty. Come. Come on. It's Elbrick Marathon. We rejoice. Love, you alive down there? Where are you, boy? Where is he? Did you kill him? Oh, shit. There he is. Let's try to dupe him. I think that's a new one. Is there no way to open this? That's also Carter zombie. Look at that. If you don't know who Carter is, it'll make sense way later. All right, acid bottles. I, you know what? That's cool. Let's bring everything we can and drop it in the shaft. We, we won't need it. Who? I missed it. Who hasn't thought they were close to the end and seeing something else in their way? Yeah, okay. I just connected it. Damn. <laughs> I gotta show you the bees G's. Jim is the beast G's, Lupka. I forgot to show you that. E East Town glitch that someone... I think it's... It was our old admin, Mod, who, who did it. Observe Mod. Uh, nameplate 1. This looks like Monica's. Who, who could have thought... Who could have known things would go this bad? This is Yoko exclusive or not, zombie? I think it's Yoko exclusive, or maybe it's not. Yeah, Jim is the beast G's. Try to, you know what? Just type that in Google. It's like 30 second clip. So it's from Outbreak East Town uh, lobby, which is glitched in file one. And uh, this glitch happened with Jim, and they just mixed in the music, and it was perfect. Handgun rounds here, Alyssa. David, Alyssa, come on. Empty ink ribbon. <laughs> what a nod to the classic series. The ink is already used up, so somebody saved their game here. The door is broken. What's wrong? What's wrong? Cool. I was, think I was thinking. Right. Oh, it's another that? pipe. We don't need pipes. Oh my god. There's a dead scientist in Dino Crisis who looks exactly like Carter. That's amazing. I did not know. I, I haven't played the original, the first Dino Crisis in years. I was just watching. Michelle played the other night and Go I was like, now. damn, I really gotta get me a Dino Crisis. Am I poisoned? No, no, no. Come here. We recognize this place from RE2. Oh, um. Any signs of three dots? Wait, on normal, are there zombies here on normal? Or is it just, that's just single player. Okay. So let's see. Nothing here. So there, there could be a scratch-like indent. Foreshadowing. Yeah, I'll send it to you. There's a lab key. So I'm gonna drop the magnum here, zombie. Please tell me you saw that. Tell me you smelt it, boy. David, David. Oh, David's poisoned. He's gonna go down to 1 HP. Handgun SG. I'm taking that. No, not instead of that. I'm dropping the shotgun as well. We're gonna pick him up when we come back, zombie. Because we're gonna need... Space. I have two handguns to throw away later. And let's check over no here. So the turntable from RE2 and RE0 is here, but it's frozen. The entire lab's frozen. We gotta untie. Oh Zombie and I will work on that. Oh, uh -huh. oh. Must not lose control. Control panel for the turntable, but everything's frozen. If we try using it... The table is frozen, won't move. I don't know how you even fit the key in the keyhole, but let's just roll with it. Now with the key card in our possession, Zombie and I will try to... <laughs> uh, is, uh, I got bigger balls than most of you. Alyssa's ad-libs are... <laughs> top shit in this game. <laughs> Alyssa and Kevin, man. Their ad-libs just win. Watch out, Poison. It's the moth from RE2. It's flying around. Now we try to go here. 
Because we're trying to escape, remember? I found some information. We can't play like players would in the first playthrough because we just played it so many times. As you can see, I forget about these things. There's a document here. I'm not going to read it. But no wait, how's that? How the fuck is that open? Oh my god. How did that happen? No. Hi. Well, never mind. Maybe Mammon did it. How? He would, he would really have to be I fast. Since I'm Yoko, I can actually... I work here. I can actually open this. Without ever going to the computer room down there, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do registration number five two nine two nine. We're gonna do. We're doing the story around. So Yoko didn't have to go downstairs to the computer room where the mock nest is. She never did have to do that. And I don't know. I think Mammon used the key card though, because that's not supposed to be. Oh look, another pass. Excuse me. What? But yeah. So we're gonna cut yeah. that part completely, and we'll bring this. Is there no way to open this? Yoko. Ooh. Yoko. Alyssa. Yoko. Yoko. I'm coming. Right. Yes. Ah, yes. Go, Thank now. you. Yes. Bloody la lab coat. We got a we got a raid from Sexty Wesky. Welcome, welcome raiders. Welcome Wesky. Thank you for the raid, brother. What the hell? If he arrived, I know raids can happen before the streamers even there. A lab coat drenched in blood. Hey. The burned hole could be a bullet hole. So remember the intro to this scenario when Monica shoots someone? That's from that. So that's from the intro to this scenario. Sexy Wesky was playing the forest. Hello, Sexy Wesky. Thank you for the raid, brother. How are you doing? Still loving the forest. Lab coat. Got, yeah, okay. So yeah, that, as I was saying, that's the lab coat from the intro of the game of the guy Monica killed. You found something else? Isn't there one more here, or maybe, yeah, not on this RNG. The zombie's not getting up. There's a capsule that has been torn apart. That's my handgun. Can't read it. Well, ow! Ow! Can't take any more of that item. Oh, so there's a whole box of blowtorches. Never figured that out. Can you take one, zombie? Just don't take it. Just try to touch it. Oh, there you go. So there's four blowtorches. Online, all the key items have four copies. Just in case the player decides to run off with one. And everyone can take only one. Oh, there's a file here. Top secret memo. Let's see if Wesky's here. Hello, Wesky. We're doing Outbreak Story Run. You're f welcome to join if you uh, if you can stay up. Next time, next up, we're doing the Hive. If you wanna, if you wanna join us, Wesky, we'd love to have you here. We're doing on the normal with friendly fire because I gotta read all the files. I'm doing the story run for the RE marathon. Yeah. yeah, my stream's amazing, man. How was your stream? How was the forest? I see you're enjoying that game a lot. That I'm glad. I can. I you, you just know when when your friend finds a game, they enjoy it a lot. <laughs> I see how you're playing it. The sample currently stored in the lab is a parasite. I don't know why period they is a parasite that was rejected by its host due to incompatibility. As it is extremely unstable, you have to be extremely careful when handling it. When transferring the sample, use a portable capsule manufactured by the Mi Corp. Well, like Xiaomi? <laughs> also, chemicals in the capsule get contaminated every few hours, so they must be changed. Any failure to do so could result in the subject awakening. Please be sure to handle it with extreme caution. R&D number one, Martin Walker. So that's what Monica is after, we, we think. Brutal but fun. Nice. Are you playing online or offline? I mean solo or do you leave open for other players? Because I know you played at least once with another player. Here's a fun fact about outbreak controls. Hold on, zombie. So this is something I've seen on YouTube also being mentioned. I think it was the comment on one of the one of Ink Ribbon's videos on uh, Resident Evil 2 for Nintendo 64. Because it's got this control scheme. So we all know like 10 controls how they work in classic Resident Evil. Up is always forward. Down is always backwards, left and right turn your character, right? But if I, if in Outbreak, because you need this fast movement, you can use the analog sticks to go move pretty much wherever. But contrary to popular belief, once the camera angle changes, if you don't change the orientation of your stick, see, it's the, the, the direction is not changing, still running in the same direction, even though the camera angles change until, I'm sorry, until you change the direction of the stick. So here we go again. This is a good one. Oh, it changes. Well, it's hard from here. Oh, 
Let's do it again. I can do it better. It's better. It's easier when I don't have to think about the controller. So like this. Whoop. Just keep the same direction. They keep running. <laughs> A lot of people didn't get that. So um, apparently people think that, you know, same for Devil May Cry or... Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Or for, I don't know, Legacy of Kane Defiance. These games have that. Outbreak has the best version of those controls, in my opinion. They're really tested, and they really work. As you can see, we don't have any movement issues in the game. Is there frozen seeds here? Not, not, not in this RNG, huh? No. All right. A control panel for the experimental device. Will you stop the device? The lever is frozen. It won't be able to move it until we melt the ice. And everything's frozen here, as we can see. A large machine emits a loud roaring noise. It seems to have gone haywire. So this guy seems to have done something. But we have the we have the blowtorch. Excuse me, Alyssa. What's happening? Oh, she's just talking. I found some information. You good zombie? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I know you know, Wesky, I'm just thinking, like, for people who don't know, of course you know. <laughs> we played this game upside down, on on the side, and mirrored, <laughs> turbo, slow down, all the ways. It's the same thing for uh, Resident Evil, oh, he's alive. For Resident Evil, um... Alright, let's go. Researcher's up. You wanna take something? Oh, shit. I'll help you. Here. Move. Oh, oh, you see down? Oh. I don't want to blow you up. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Thank you, zombie. What are you doing? Thanks. Here. But yeah, um, even Resident Evil 2 N64 has that scheme, which is like a cheat in that game. Makes it so much easier. Remember that hunter? There he is. He's ready for action. We're just gonna ignore him. And we're gonna unequip the weapon as soon as we switch. Hold on, I'll be back. There's a document there. So hunters in this game, Hunter R's, which are basically the modified alpha version from Mari 1, they can break your weapons. And only David can fix them. Since our David went to eat, <laughs> he can't fix them. He can fix them a limited number of times. Only as many times as he has the number of spare parts he has in his inventory, which is one of the special, unique David items. David item. We've initiated the uh, the unthawing, so uh, it's working. Working. I found something strange. But yeah, the whole point of that. Uh, Help. Oh, that means hunters here. Yeah, there you. Oh shit. I wasn't gonna read Yoko, but thanks for that. Thanks for that. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come on. Yes. Gotta focus now. It's easy, even on normal, it's easy to die normal. around hunters if you're dicking around. Especially with friendly fire, where you can shoot each other. Thank you very much. Oh, there you go. That was a little glitchy. They're melting. There. They're melting. melting. Over there. See, on offline, there would be, in the turntable room, we would have the hunters and zombies with them. Right. Right. Oh, the magnum. Fuck, what am I dropping? Dropping. I know what I'm dropping. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Do you, need, you know what? Instead of acid, yeah, bottles. Let's go. So zombie use the key because it's melted now, you can use it. Over there. Thank you so much. And now we just wait. Originally it wasn't intended to be like this. Uh, it would uh, We would have to fight the hunters and survive while the timer is going on. But this is kind of a exploit in the game. See when all the players are here, the hunters will try to get to us from this side. And of course they can't get us. They will never try over here unless someone lures them here. On this side, I mean. I must move the turntable first. So let's read the files while well, this thing is going on. David's dying of poison. 
Hello. That was... Here we go. David's dying of poison, but he seems to still not be in danger. Though he should be at 1 HP, I don't know. That means he's tangled with the... With the, with the moth. Poison moth. There's Monica. She made it, but not quite. She's not gonna make it. Uh, Alyssa, do you need anything? You got health? <clears throat> Everyone has a shotgun each. Jesus Christ, normal is so giving. I have a pistol. Explosive bottles. Magnum. <laughs> Shells. You know what? Let's reload. We don't need all this shit, but you know, we're gonna win no matter what. Magnum as the last defense. I'm not even gonna use the Magnum. That's how fuck yeah. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We have a pot shotter here. Mrs. Pot Shot. This is for you. So Alyssa, like Kevin, has the skill to pot shot, which means if you steady the aim, you guarantee a critical hit. Which with the Magnum is like a bazooka in the face. There you go, that's the way to do it. And I, on the other hand, I'm gonna be the Bombardier. This is my one of my favorite weapons in this game. I like throwables in Outbreak. It's uh, Molotovs and Grey Bottles, which are basically grenades. They explode upon impact. They have splash damage, really good for crowd control. And there's Acid Yellow Bottles, which are basically Acid Grenades but in like throne form really good for hunters but we're not fighting the hunters here we're just gonna ignore that man i do talk a lot do i but i enjoy it yeah. that's what matters <laughs> mm. oh damn i got a new syrup Lupka. this is raspberry so same company i tried so far nettle i tried what was the first one i tried damn i forgot already something then nettle then cherry, sour cherry, and now raspberry. They're all fucking amazing. I can't remember which was the first one I got. But yeah, they all have like actual fruit in them. And it's like, I don't know, when you go to village and you didn't. Or you didn't. What was the what was the one that I took the photo for you? That was the first one I discovered. So good. They're incredibly good. Remember when we were little, we would go... How do you say that in English? Go to the village <laughs> and with grannies just like drain, um, strain the, the fruit and make syrup? That's what it's like. Yeah, I think it was blueberry. I think you're right. <clears throat> or was it blackberry? It was blackberry. So blackberry, sour cherry, and now raspberry. And we tried nettle. So I want to try, I want to try blueberry. What else? Ooh, yum, jam. Oh, fig jam. So here you go, breakfast at Lupka's. <laughs> wow. Wow. I still yeah. can't remember anything, but ignorance is bliss, I think. Mm. I'm, I'm sure it will come to me someday. Good. When it does, I'll be ready. Oh my God. I've got to hang on. Yoko has amnesia. She doesn't remember what happened. And if you paid attention at the start of the outbreak scenario, the, mm, the very first scenario played, last one, she's in the crowd. So as we're looking at the, uh, we're looking at the characters, she's dressed differently, but she passes through and goes to the bathroom. So the Yoko player actually starts the game at the bathroom. What she was doing in the bathroom was, well, she's basically disguised now, right? <clears throat> Next weekend, Lupka, next weekend, we'll be there. As soon as Sasha gets better. By the way, love, still still living and breathing, I hope. She had fever. Well, still has probably, so. Die, you beast! Try not to kill me, I'm gonna try to pass, yeah. We're gonna choo-choo the motherfucker. Ow, that's my butt. Let me push him to the tracks, zombie, so I, we can train him, and then you finish him off with your... Magnum thing, so hacha! Oh, that well, that works for me. Train, choo choo, motherfucker. Pick on something your own size, like a Golgotha, a kill of Golgotha, because he's the Golgotha uh, mutant. Get it? <laughs> Go, zombie, destroy this bastard. 
die, sir. Ow, it's my butt you're chewing on, little bastard. Ow. Sir, please. I'm gonna kill you with an explosion if you don't stop that. Well, that didn't do anything. I did try, though. You okay there, zombie? Seems a little under the weather. Nope, that's not what I want. We gotta keep David alive. That's our only goal. So, move, zombie. The train's gonna kill you, zombie. Run! Run to this side! Don't be crazy, man! Die, you evil demon! Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta check on her. Actually, I'm gonna scream very loud. Cover your ears. I could hear both the uh, Mammon's David ending and my Yoko ending. That's wonderful. She's I can hear her coughing, so she's she's still kicking. She's still with us. Alright, so uh that was scenario two. We're gonna do the hive. Let's do the hive. Let's I wanna do the hive tonight, zombie. Normally we do the entire game in a single stream, but again, that's different kind of playthrough. 62%. Look at that, little Yoko doing shit. Got an item from Stafford too, which only Yoko can do. Yoko this, Yoko that. Didn't read the files though. I knew I forgot something I was gonna do there, but uh, yeah. Two files I forgot to read. I got them, but forgot to read them. That's okay, love, as long as you're good. I hope it's not too noisy with the stream for you. Since I can't hear her da from downstairs, I'm assuming she uh, she can't hear me either. Oh, she's uh, she's trying to sleep. I'm sure. Just very hard. Thank you, thank you, Weski. Sorry, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm doing my darnest here to host this as good as possible <laughs> with everything happening. It's a it's a lot. So my friend Joseph asked me. I'm trying to get him and our friend. Uh, brown you know them <laughs> to play this oh i know brown would we just got to get him a ps2 he doesn't have a pc he's not a pc guy and joseph uh, joseph would <clears throat> if brown joined but the thing is i like how joseph asked me do, do do i think you know this would be uh okay for brown if it's not gonna be a little slow <laughs> and he's you know no, no, Joe, if you're listening to this now or in the future, no, man, look at all the shit that's happening here. Who's gonna... It's not slow, it's anything but. <laughs> it looks slower than Resistance, for instance, but... There's no human mastermind here. The game is the mastermind. The game has shows no mercy. It's like, <laughs> oh, you killed that zombie. Here's another one to play with. Alrighty, Wesky, thanks again for the, for the raid. <laughs> thanks again for the raid, my lovely friend. You have a good night. Always happy to see you. Bye. All right, someone's making test game. So t slot three, test game. If on the console you try to join that slot, you just freeze your game. Man, I love Wesky. Wesky's good people. Wesky's really good people. Very pleasant to be around. So we're still doing the story run. Or we're trying. Sometimes we don't read file, but you know, that's okay. I think at this point we can notch it down to three players, huh? If somebody joins, somebody wants to join. Yeah. Die, please. I ha I have nothing against that. But uh, does it even matter what you said here? Does it change the difficulty of the game? I doubt it. We can try it. And see if this is gonna be harder or easier. The hive. I'm gonna be for the hive. I'm gonna be. Well, this is a this is a conundrum here. So, uh, so uh, decisions decisions could be considered George's scenario, but so could be the hive. The hive, because that's where George works. George is a doctor. doctor. One of the eight main characters. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, Gamut. Gamut. <laughs> Drop me your thoughts. George for the hive, but then 
then... Yoko again for decisions or no actually George for the high who else could I who could I pick in decisions let's say Hellfire I'm gonna be David still not all the characters but we're trying I don't know fuck it it's gonna be George I guess maybe no maybe Jim for decisions I think and then George for the high. I'm gonna be George. Here we go. Uh, ten minutes. I hope Mammon joins us. Joins us. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. But you know, I'm looking for the story elements. I think George, because there's a story element for Mark in the hive that uh, uh, security guard manual that every other character will say. You know, it's like this is boring shit, but Mark will actually read it, and it's a tutorial on using Mark's skill. Three scenarios in. Um, <laughs> mind you but yeah there's that there's um, I'm sure there's more yeah Kevin or Cindy can take the item from the policeman on the rooftop provided you open a roof I didn't know rooftop existed in this game until I started playing online so I played it for 15 years without knowing that part even existed because the code for the rooftop is just you may never realize what it is <laughs> but yeah I would say George because he worked here pills like gamut said especially since we have friendly fire with this boss it can turn ugly no matter how good you are and uh, and uh, who else i think that's it for this stream we're gonna do this scenario so rules 236 zombie my bad i accidentally typed 236 i have to mute mammon because uh, that echo is really coming back <laughs> we're just like lower his volume I can hear myself back. Here we go. At 60%. So if he speaks, I'll still be able to hear him. It's just not gonna echo as much. Or actually, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Okay, there you go. The echo said yeah. fuck it as well. Yeah. 150, but change the audio device so that I can hear it, but the stream yeah. cannot. Yeah. Default. Oh my, it's really loud for me now. And then lower his volume back. Does he want to hear my thoughts? La 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 la. Oh my, that's really loud. 66. Yeah, that's good enough. I can I can still hear my thoughts. It's a step forward. So what do you say, zombie? Let's uh let's uh, wait for uh When did Mammon leave? That was at least like 30 minutes ago, right? I know he's having... He said he wanted to do the hive tonight, so I don't want to leave him. And that's going to be the last scenario. So we can just like... As Brown would say, we could just podcast here for a few minutes. Until uh, Mammon comes back. <laughs> yeah, there, Gamut said it. It's hard to follow this. So Gamut said it. On very hard, he turns into zombie. Thank you for that, Gamut. It's the little things. It's the little things I can't do on my own. Yeah, zombie, let's chat. How are you doing, zombie? <laughs> you hear me? Like he was before. Is that a riddle, Lubka? Yeah, it's one of those glitches again. I don't know if it's the server or one of our devices, like zombies or mine, but the last few times we played, we had weird shit happening. The game just freezing for both. I know you hear me, buddy. <laughs> the game freezing for both of us or uh, like this, HP frozen. Oh, yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, sure. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard to... That's why speech is imperfect. We need all the descriptors. Like in normal speech, you would say, yeah, uh, like he was podcasting just before. But you don't want to type all that on the phone, so you condense it. And then like 10 minutes later, I read it. I have no idea what I read. I, I see it's not just for me an issue. I see a lot of streamers are uh, battling that. So that's kind of, you know, comforting. He was podcasting. He was reading all the stuff. You know what? I could read those two documents I missed. Because I really want Mammon in this. It's not the same without him. So we'll make a new room if need be. He's not going to eat for like 7 hours. I'm, I'm hoping. I know Zombie agrees. Zombie and I love Mammon. I love playing with him. So let's try to find those two files. 
I know I can actually do it pretty easy like this, so... Uh, files, let's see. There you go, there's, oh, there's everything on Resident Evil Wiki. Yeah, 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 Ljubka, exactly. So let's see, below freezing point files. Actually, let's see, outbreak files, what have we missed? I don't want Opera GX. Fuck off. Diary of Bar Staff, got it. Jack's memo, we didn't get that. So that's in a drawer that we didn't unlock. At least I think we didn't. I will find the Beast G's. Jack is the owner of Jay's Bar, <laughs> where the, that outbreak starts in. The game. Well, and the outbreak. To Cindy. Please bring the package from Robert's store, Robert Kendo. From Robert's store to my room. I'm having lots of dangerous customers lately, so I asked him to fix up my gun. I've had enough. Those muscle-bound punks have shown up almost every night for one week. Tonight, I'll threaten them with my gun and turn them away. <laughs> you have a police officer drinking in your bar every night, man. But sure, that works. <laughs> P.S. There may be no space in my room for the package. If that's the case, put it in the drawing room. So these are all clues. On normal difficulty, easy, I think maybe even hard. You can find that shotgun. No, a normal and easy, definitely. Not sure about hard, because it changes online and offline. But uh, you can find that shotgun in the drawer that you unlock by putting one of those alcohol bottles. Instead of making a Molotov, you put it in a picture, clicks the drawer, you pick up the shotgun. But on very hard, the shotgun will be in the drawing room where only Alyssa can unlock the closet it's in. It's like a gun cabinet that's locked in. So that's really interesting, it gives you hints for both, for all variations. Okay, that's one file, three and a half minutes. The BG's video, don't worry, I won't forget. <laughs> uh, newspaper, I think we read the newspaper, playing single player mode, no, Raccoon today, we were... oh actually, so we just missed one file in Outbreak, the one that required a puzzle that we didn't do, because we were kind of low on times. So, open in fucking default browser below freezing point files no I'll do it right away sis here we go I'm already on my phone uh, Jim is the Jim is the bees geez. it's like bees knees but the uh, BGs there we go I found it I found it copy link and then you know what I'm gonna send it here actually can I paste on my computer? Yes, yes I can. Yeah, freezer file. <laughs> That's... Oh, what's his name? Silent Hell, yeah. He used to be the admin mod of the Observe server. Or at least Discord. Well, the server as well. But not anymore. Something changed and I wasn't there. Custodian's Diary. That's the file I picked up. I didn't read. Found in the B4F East Area Passage, where I ran away from the hunter, fearing for my life. I had a, such a shitty day today. I accidentally lost the turn turntable key that Rick and Admin gave me. I'm sure I looked like absolute crap. If management finds out I lost the key, getting fired will be the least of my worries. There's even a rumor screw-ups could even be used as bait for some creepy test subject. The company is working on why so many why so many quotation marks thank god roy from security found the key in the bathroom and brought it to admin although i found out about this through my boss who looked like he's about to chew me a new one <laughs> get it because he will become a zombie man i haven't been ripped ripped such a big one since i was a snot nosed brat in junior high school sheesh like it's even fucking matters. You can't do anything with the key if you don't know the code in the first place. Man, when I quit this company, I'm gonna use that key and code and make those elevators my own personal private ride. Even I wouldn't forget a code as easy to remember as the word hope. Yep, my own personal elevator. Kinda like the sound of that. Cause this is Resident Evil Universe. People write files like, the, like diaries like this. Just leave them in the company they worked at. Sorry, zombie, I'll make a new one. I'll make a new one. I'm really hoping Mammon will be here soon by the time I read these files. Yes, thank you. Here we go. Just 
Hold on, hold on a second, Steve. Story one, two. Two, two, three, six this time. Uh, anyone wants to join again? It's open. I'm just setting it to three because, uh, well, right now there's three of us. George. Ten minutes. I think that's enough. Well, actually, just fucking set it to 30. How long, ever long I need to read these files. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I know. I know, Gamut. That's, that is like one of the ways they got to the to the city folk. Well, that's it's happening in reality too. Like people will say, ah, oh, they're not so bad. They are employing us. It happens here. Like right now, there's a big uh, drama going on about Rio Tinto, the lithium mining company who found a lithium mine. Well, somebody found a lithium mine in Serbia and in, you know, in a part of Serbia, not all of Serbia. <laughs> but yeah, and there's been a debate going for two years whether you know Rio Tinto should get in there and do the job or not so they got in there but then you know the government changed their mind like it's drama and if if a company has their roots inside you know their claws their <laughs> their fangs in a in a small american town like traditional you know you're from america you know how towns were made they're not even that old so whatever was there was there from the start it makes more sense than here really So what did we do? Inter-office memo read by Mammon, right? That's the one about, yeah, the the code for the for the for one of the parts of the vigil they were making. So we didn't see that part because I was on the wrong floor, so to speak. Laboratory memo. That's also something I think Mammon read. Yes, how to make the vigil, where UMB number twenty is already created. Monthly passcode. Do we have that? So yeah. So I did read that. That's for the shutters. So instead of getting those that card, if not having Yoko, you wouldn't have to be just register your fingerprint like, like in RE two B scenario. You would have to go down there, to the computer room, the giant mod's nest, register your fingerprint, <clears throat> and then come back and do it. And that that laboratory memo would uh, sorry that monthly passcode would help. Researchers will that we read that. Ah, uh, yes. So I'm going to read this one. This one's really interesting. Oh, I can't believe this. Three days have passed since a couple of subjects, MA-125R, who escaped from B area, began a killing spree in the laboratory. Uh, I think at least ten of my colleagues have been killed by them. Uh, however, I got to experience the horror firsthand as one of their giant sharp claws ripped through my body. The bleeding from the wound just doesn't seem to stop why why did we create such terrible things we had no right to play god the only thing left for me to do now is to destroy the laboratory temperature controls when the temperature drops down to <coughs> about zero degrees they would be frozen in their tracks uh, hopefully that is about the only thing i can do now damn my foolishness so that's Frost, ironically named character. <laughs> the guy who froze the laboratory from below freezing point we just played. I don't know, like, somebody had a sick, <laughs> twisted sense of humor calling that guy Frost. But that's, yeah, that's the file that you find next to him. Because once you unthaw everything, the fog disappears. You can see the files on the floor and items. Again, we were just very fast in this. Staff memo, do we read that one? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, I got that one, but didn't read it either. September 11th, 1330. Number of guests, four. <laughs> Just exactly the number we need. Checking for other possible additional guest users. Entry name, guest. Password, none. September... Oh, it is. September 11th, 1330. I thought I was like, that can't be November 9th. <laughs> it's the American date, backwards. 1 30 p.m so it's the same password system from re2 for unlocking the before f culture room that's how you get the hint so in outbreak in file one not always in file two always if your character doesn't know the password they can't enter it even though you may know it like all the possible passwords that could be for a puzzle until your character has read the file with it 
they, they will not even they will always decline even entering it unless the only other way is if one of your co-players obtained the file with the password you need they open that file and they press the adlib button so their character speaks the password out loud your character hears it so you gotta be in the earshot you gotta see the text on the screen oh so the password is 39 dj like in wild things you can enter the password that's fucking amazing that's rpg stuff right there staff memo no oh, that's what i just read and top secret memo Ooh, i mean ooh. ah yeah i read this one okay martin walcott yeah okay so that's the file that's all the files below freezing we're out of files zombie we gotta push the game mammoth's not coming we gotta do something buy me time zombie just keep the people chatting <laughs> oh man i really wanted this but uh it's been 15 minutes he's still not gone i'm talking about that like i don't i know that the longer we wait like every time it happens we wait for a long time <laughs> And then the moment we start, there's Mammon, he's back. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is his birthday and it's his birthday dinner with his family. I knew, I said, you can't, he said, I want to eat my dinner quickly and come back. Yeah, I, I, I really love that he wants to do that. But I also can't imagine like his mom and dad being like, happy birthday. <laughs> he's like, oh, thank you, Rabam. I'm going to play with my first streamer friend. <laughs> so... That's why I was like, I doubt he'll make it, but uh, it's been how long? That's what I want to check. That was before Wesky raided. Before the jam and all that. Uh, before we talked about fig jam. There you go, around 8 p.m. 8. 8 to 10 p.m., let's say. Let's say 8.15. So it's been... Let's say 8.15. It's been... 30... 45 minutes already. Huh. Well, I guess we'll have to go, zombie. What do you say? Want to wait a little longer? Want me to read all the high files ahead of time? Just leak, read all the game's files now so we can play in peace. <laughs> and then viewers, you just piece together what's what. <laughs> Better wet my whistle. Oh my, raspberry. I love berries. Berries are great. Zombie, want to play the lobby game? Wait two minutes. All right, buddy. All right, then I'll go through zombies and I'll compare zombies in my records. So both of us... <laughs> Barry, <laughs> both of us have reset our save files at some point because we wanted well i wanted to beat the game again with 100 percent on my own because there's a thing when you play file 2 and you export your save file 2 save into your file 1 save to unlock all those goodies from file 2 it actually rewards the players by unlocking automatically unlocking everything in file 1 for purchase you still gotta buy those things but they're like requirements other requirements like beat the game with every character on every difficulty stuff like that they're already cleared which i didn't like so i deleted my save file and started fresh zombie started fresh when i think his saves were corrupted or something like that so here we go total play time this is only file one uh, this is only file one profile cards total play time 202 hours to 118 zombie's not a fan of file one because of that item lag <laughs> total score well it's proportional to the playtime. Character usage. I can see um my 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 first is David, his is Alyssa. Of course. <laughs> my second is George somehow. Look would you look at that in file one? I would say it's Jim, but it's actually George. His is Well between Kevin oh no, it's actually first for him is Cindy, I'm blind. And second Alyssa, there you go. Uh, then who who else next after George I got Jim I got Jim and he's got he's got others and Kevin sharing that spot after that what's what's less than Jim Cindy I guess I like Cindy I love them all and then for zombies it's gonna be 
You have more playtime with Yoko than Jim and Mark and George. What the hell, zombie? <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, well, then I go to my seven percenters, which are Kevin and Yoko. While well, zombie goes into, yeah, Mark next. Then, who else? Then Mark for me. Then George for him, I think. Well, there's others as well. I did read that. Man, it's hard to do this for both for both characters. Here we go. We got without the pronunciation. <laughs> pronunciation. Ready. Maybe maybe that caused the Frenchman bad. We're reading this, this in, in English. All right, then. So, my survival rate is 91% and zombies is 96 how, how the fuck is that possible, mon ami? <laughs> I have ran for 400 kilometers, Kibote. Zombie has ran for 264 kilometers. What a lazy person. Health condition. I have more fine. It's two thirds, but zombie has more. Fine as well, only not as much. He has been in danger more than I have. Average infection rate might is 32%. Zombies is 30%. Recovery items used. I go to fourteen twenty. Zombie goes to eleven fifty five. <laughs> Percentage of all hits melee. Thirty two percent versus zombie twelve. Guns seventeen percent versus zombie thirty two. Tackle forty one versus fifty one. Other seven percent versus three percent. So zombie likes shooting more than. Zo likes shooting most then tackling, which is also stepping on them, I guess. Then melee, which is any melee weapon. And then finally others is just like Molotovs and shit like that. Uh, well, it's pretty good, zombie. Saved, saved the dying player. I have saved 174 dying players. Zombie has saved 136, which is amazing, you know, on his lower play time. Zombie is an excellent player. Saved from dying by others. I have been saved 113, but zombie has been saved 138 times. And I bet most of those times was like zombie rushing the stage, running straight into like five zombies. Zombie Chow rushing the stage and running into five hungry zombies trying to eat his face and foot and I don't know, buttocks and whatnot. So th I think that's where that comes from. Item exchange, items given. I have given 1722 items. Zombie has given. 9-11. Well, just wants to call the police, I guess. <laughs> Items received. 16-74. Items. Oh, is that Mammon? <gasps> yes, he's back. Hold on, let me... Oh, man, we were... You have no idea. I read all... I used the wiki to read all the files we missed. I read uh, zombies and mine. Like, I was reading our profiles just to stall until you're back so we can play all together the hive. It's been, like, 20 minutes between <laughs> games. Ha, <laughs> ha. Welcome back, friend, and happy birthday again. Get in here. Hold on, hold on, let me boost you. I'm sorry, I lowered, because there was echo, so I lowered your volume, so I wouldn't listen to myself. It's me who did speak loudly. Oh. Go now. I mean, Kai. talk now, don't go anywhere. I'm so glad you're back, man. Zombie's glad as well. All right, folks, thanks for waiting. Like, people are sitting here waiting. Well, listening to me to speaking like a Frenchman while waiting for a Frenchman. <laughs> Here he is. Chat. But yeah, there's, there, there was a lot more profile to read, by the way. If Mammon was eating for another 30 minutes, I think I could go for this, because I was slowly comparing our uh, our profiles. My sister Lupka says, Happy birthday, Mammon. Oh, thank you, Lupka. I had a good present. I'm so happy. George, Yoko B, and uh, Cindy. That's a good, that's a really good team. I love how you're doing this. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so glad we waited. And thanks for supporting the wait. So, oh, it, it's time to put the cookie down. Oh, wait, I haven't done my Arnold in a few days. Wait, like, I gotta go. Me, 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 me. I kill you last. I kill you last. Put the cookie down. Now, <laughs> there we go. Put the cookie down, comrade. Comrade Cookie. Come on, zombies are trying to break into the hospital. We have to stop them now. now. Well, fuck it. 
So this is not going to take place in the Raccoon General Hospital, the viewers. But this is Arnold Schwarzenegger here narrating the scenario live from the yeah. Raccoon General Hospital. I am a doctor who makes drugs. I'm in cahoots Where? with this lady. Uh-huh. Reckon be the exit! Help! Kick me! Dear God! Let's look out the window. Come on! Hello. A group of zombies are surrounding the Help. hospital. Help. And wandering ominously. This is yeah! Thank you. We make more drugs. I am the drug maker. I am George, the drug maker. Right. Thank you, madam. Somebody take my drugs. Come on, take it, Yoko. Take it now. Nobody wants my drugs. Well, fuck you. I will take my drugs. Shoot from here, you evil men spirited. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yes. I apologize if I surprised you. Yes, I love the room. Be alarmed. I'm a doctor in this hospital. I must say that this hospital is not an ideal place to take shelter. It's not as safe as it may look or sound. I myself have decided to get out of here as soon as possible. No. Yes. <laughs> but it's funny is that I cannot use ad libs. I, I cannot. Yeah, when you're in the cutscene. So is it playing for you now? Yeah. Yeah, now it's replaying again. And if I leave the room, I can open the door. I don't know, I cannot open the door. No, you can't. I'll have to open it for you, huh? Yeah, but as soon as... Uh, what horses. is this called? Hirsch will leave? Yeah, yeah. I can move it. I, tr I so played I around with it. Oh, it... oh no, he's blocked for me. Awesome! Maybe it's not try to open the door anymore. I'll, I'll do it, show I'll you. Do it. Let me just read this. Nothing comes out of the faucet Look when turned. This. The water supply seems to be cut off. He's not yeah. even wishing to open the door. He's like, what have I done with my life? Nah, I want to sign myself to the leash. Fuck you. <laughs> I would love to sleep peacefully, but this is not the time for that. <laughs> I would love to sleep peacefully. Hmm. So is that Hirsch? Slated... That's Hirsch. Oh my god, Gamut has a Hirsch emoticon. I just had a thought. George. Oh, Yoko. Yoko, I got something for you. Yeah? This is for you, because you're garbage. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, yeah. uh, I just love entertaining them. All right, so... Uh, I, ladies, ladies, I, as a brave doctor fellow man, will go here and check this oh, no. dangerous room. Uh, you there, I would like for you to wait with our, my friend Hirsch. Well, actually, let's all go here and see what Hirsch is doing. So, <laughs> you're telling that since you're a man, you have a brain. You <laughs> evil doctor. Dear God. Dear and God. since I'm a smart girl, I will do it myself. No, no, come here. Come we want to see all the sides. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, sorry. George, working in this hospital... Sorry, ma'am, I just don't want to lose my train of thought. Uh... George works here, so he's got the map immediately. The same works for Cindy in, uh, in Outbreak Scenario. She doesn't need the map. And Yoko in Below Freezing Point doesn't need the map. Really? There's a memo on the desk. Read it now. Repair yeah, work memo. Repair plan. AC unit. Switch panel. Main entrance. Third floor to fourth floor. Landing space. What room 403. B2F channel to drainage. No Authorized way. personnel only. <laughs> All right. So Hirsch here, cargo is stacked up here. They must have tried to build a barricade. Nothing valuable oh. here. Oh my God. Wait. We All right. Have crap I'm gonna look. Here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna explore the hospital, ladies. Just stay calm. What? I work here. I know what to do. I know you, Cindy. I've been drinking at your bar forever. And Yoko, you've been coming there as well. I keep my eye on Even things. Even to steal out the body in the airtight bag. The hour of the spare gun kit here for security ran out. Hell, bullets didn't even dead it. What the hell they gotta do now? A bite wound from that thing just one clock. It was so much blood that I can feel nauseous and dizzy. Wherever I go or hide, that damn thing is always on my heels. I just had a thought. It just moves so incredibly fast. Come to think of it, in the beginning it was a lot slower. The predator. Did you find it? And I think the smell of blood is exciting. I'm done for. I'll be the next. George, Sorry, I, I didn't realize you were this. reading. You, you were very quiet. This so in, the hive has one, one unique thing. Thank you. The files, a lot of the files are items. You pick them up, 
That's what Mammon was just reading. And then you can file, find them in your files. But then once you drop them, you don't, you don't need to keep them with you. So Yoko, oh, you want to be dead? You want to be dead? No, okay. Is there something for George here? No, there's not. The wind is blowing in from outside. It's humid here. Man, I love these descriptions in old school Resident Evil games. They, can, they tell you so much without telling you much. I miss this. Like, this is, this is what I want to hear. Like, the remakes have no exploration button. That's just sad. All right. I'll just open this locker here. Oh, Yoko, look what I found. We could really use this. I'm gonna drop it and take it instead of this first guy. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my goodness. What it's the thing you were just reading about. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. No, you is not the I'm kind to just tell my god like this. I'm trying to figure out why. It's so dumb I say this. Well, you is always oh my god. By an auxiliary battery. See if this works. Beep. Not the elevator working. There we go. Dr. Hirsch fixed the elevator. I guess we can escape. No, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, no. It's my wife. Did you say it's my ex wife? No, I'm not giving you alimony. Oh, that's how he dies. <laughs> You're your ex wife. That's why George is so unhappy. I'm worse than your ex wife. Then I'm gonna be your worst nightmare. So, so, so the the thing here is the that scene was hinting that Hirsch's hand was bleeding, which attracted the leech person. Well, more on that later. <laughs> Mammon, that's actually pretty fucking. <laughs> I love having you here, co-hosting Mammon. Thanks. It comes from time to time. This kind of small joke peak thing. I mean, it was a pink what? moment of the of the day. Now. The audience may leave they want because there won't be any more very good jokes like that. No, I <laughs> Well, yeah, everybody has a little different. Oh shit! <laughs> Die, please. Oh. Evil people, evil people, evil people. So George's <laughs> special skill know. is what the hell was that? I thought she fell like long way. Down. Watch out, Cindy! Go. Yeah. Hello, Master of Splits 180. How are you? I've been... I'm here. I'm here most of the time. Where have you been? What's up? Welcome to Resident Evil Marathon, Resident Evil Outbreak. They're not stopping. Uh, ah, fuss in front of the elevator. Edition. Let's go. So let's do this by story, zombie. First thing, we're going to go to, let's say, 2F. We're going to try to do the mo most, most story we can. We got to read the files and survive. Do, do I have a red herb, please, to make a hemostat? Unless we find one. Day. So second floor, zombie, I'm gonna... Maybe better one of... Like, oh, we only have three people. Yeah, that's I what I was saying. Those little ad libs. When you're near enough to a zombie, characters will say very, very distinct fear line. Yeah. Oh, it shouldn't be happening. Oh my god, B1F card is here on normal. What the... No challenge at all. Yeah, the hive I mean, is a very weird scenario, and like, because it's the most unfinished scenario. Fuck it, I'm just getting out of here. Zombie, I need the fucking blood packs, man. Where are you? There's the, there's a leech monster here trying to eat my face. Woo! That was really quick thinking of me. All right, that's gonna keep him occupied. Woo! I gotta kill this man. She doesn't care about the blood at all. There you go. All right, now. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Oh. No, I already put one, man. I already never mind. Take one from the. Oh, thank you, Cindy. You saved me. I always believed in you. Thank you very much. Now we can get this file. Memo is pasted on the medicine bottles. I found it. That's why. That's why this emoji. Take it away. I found it. Anyone. Here are the regions for today. As usual, I put tentative names on the label. Please replace the names with the correct codes and keep them in the cabinet label B6. We got a bunch of numbers. Run! Run! <laughs> There's a crazy leech man. See that? And it's the kind of. You see, it's the kind of joke your. Um, Did you find called. something? Some kind of doctors would do. I mean, only they would be having passwords linked to different tools and items they Thank use you. during the day. Thank you so much. Oh my, oh my, 
Yeah, am I the room master? Stick. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Fuck you. So that's George's. It George's special ability is the tackle, which if you charge, it knocks zombies down every time. I found it. And timing is really important. Come on. Yeah, there is a hemostat machine. Oh, normally it works on very hard, it doesn't. <laughs> Leave me alone, you ugly Watch out, Cindy. Move. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him. Yes. Let's actually try to shoot zombies since we're playing on normal. We don't have to save the bullets. What the fuck did you just do, boy? Sorry. There should be a George special item here. Nurse call button. That's right. I forgot about that. That's one of the events. Yeah. Did it ring? Oh, there's Lichi. Long underwear. Got it. Go, 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 go. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, no. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. Uh, Cindy's face. Long waitress. Lady, are you okay? Give me, give me a red herb. Yes. I'll make a medicine for you. Finally, I get to be useful. No, she didn't want it. Never mind. Next time. Charge! And enough that, so... Yeah, let's go together. It's gonna be a little longer, but since we're doing a story marathon, we shouldn't split up. Shit, he just keep. We gotta kill him first. Let's go kill him first. First floor. Fuck that. Come back. My bad. Get out of there. Because normally we would split up and do everything really fast, but, you know, where's the story in that? So let's just run. Ooh, that was scary. Let's go to the first floor and uh, get the rest of the code and then punch it in. Dear God. No zombies. Sometimes there's a zombie in the elevator. B1F, guys. Then we'll go back, unlock the shutter and all that. There's skeleton in there. This is a really, really short scenario, so... Oh no. I think zombie bugged out. Oh, it happened. He dropped dead in front of me. Oh, yeah. He did. Night reception. Zombie, you good there, buddy? Mm. He's, maybe he desynced, but he's there. Let's let's have him talk to us. That's... I was about to say that that's sad. No, that's sad. I'm lost in my own speech. Shit, I need, uh, I need the blood pack. We waited uh, so long and then we lost him. That the uh, map that is shown in the 1F pathway is not matching at all the building configuration. <clears throat> what do you mean? Oh, like I the. the yeah. Uh, what now? So let's we see if Zombie, maybe he lost power or something. Let's have him write us and then know what to do. On stream, well, actually, I can, I can check this one. Now, no message from zombie? Hmm. Yeah, he usually writes right away. I think something crashed. Okay. Right, first, oh. second, third. Where do I want to go with this information? Well, I want to go get a blood pack. That's right. Because they were all on zombie. Until we hear from zombie and see what's going on. What's happening? Hope he's okay. Huh? Could be a power out. I mean, he does live in a Slavic country. <laughs> oh, he's even not in the school anymore, so there's a chance it could be the case. Yeah, I think he. he oh, shit. What's wrong? Does he have a. Is there a blood pack somewhere, Mammon? I got two on me. Oh, okay. Let's meet up at B1F. Actually, first floor. Let's meet up at first floor doctor station. I keep forgetting the order because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but it's normal, don't worry. I'm George and it's normal, so we'll be good. Screw you, Nurse Kathy. I think that's Kathy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's yeah. running after me. I'm, sure. ah. I'm coming. The waiting room furniture is out of array. Ew, they look quite Brace nice. <sighs> There's September 30th. That's the ah, that's the hint I was talking about earlier. I have no Am I bleeding? No, not my peepee. -pee. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that and that. Let's go, Missy. Anyone? To the next room. That's the leech man. That's the sound of the leech man opening the 
ventilation grate. What? Oh, he was here already. Someone was here. We got the other part of the code. And everywhere I was, he was. There. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do. So it's kind of scary. Never I had the leechman so insisting. With... Yeah, especially on normal. And since we lost zombie, that means he's gonna become the next leechman. All right, let's go turn on the shutter. Actually, let's burn the bastard first. Since we lost zombie, we're gonna. When a player dies in this scenario and we kill the leechman. That player becomes the next leechman, which makes this scenario pretty tough if you don't know what you're doing. Now we have the code, so to speak. We would have to do some maths on the fly. What? Well, oh try not goodness. to get it's gonna hurt my head. No, <laughs> mad aches. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> it sounded like the gas in uh, Desperate Times. Oh, there he is. Stop complaining. I hope you're coming with those blood packs. Spring dress Missy. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna read the file while you're there. Here are the, yeah, I read that one. Piece of memo. Cabinet B6, red chemical code number plus 235. We know that red carmine is 1210 plus 2345. That makes 35555. Five. Yeah, but I still need I still need your uh, sexy blood packs here. Well, actually, maybe I don't. I can shoot the leeches off. And our leechman is in my room, and I need okay. to put blood packs, so and only leechman should not be bothering you anymore. I hope. There you go. I shot him off. It's a different approach. Call the elevator. They're gonna interrupt me. Right oh, sh little shit. There is a similarity. I just discovered. Do you remember the door that falls in end of the road? Yeah. Isn't it a bit the same, the door that falls in in the B1F pathway, when the zombie breaks it out? Uh, yeah, it looks like that. Oh shit, fuck, so many leeches on my face. Arrgh. I'm coming. Alright, so I punched the codes in. We're doing it snappy. I'm really worried about zombie. Probably a power oh, yeah. That's cool computing. So Let's much. punch the codes. Point, point, point. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, Mr. Leechy. I am afraid of you. I'm sorry I lied. <laughs> I can't open the elevator. What's going on? Oh, there we go. I lied. Gary. Woo. B2F. Now we have access to B2F yeah. and we have access to roof. And the roof password 0930 is that September 30th note I just saw on the desk up there. Try to catch all this on the fly. Oh, that's sad. It means that the birthday of the daughter, you won't even see it since she's dead. Yep, that's the brutal. If you think about it, it's pretty brutal. We got another file. We can read the files in peace that were there. Oh, so he did lose net. Damn it. What? Let's go to rooftop. Well, gl we're glad you're back, zombie. We're, we're getting a little worried. What's that? I'll, I'll attract Mr. Sexy Leech. Mr. Sexy I'm sorry, bitch. zombie. It's a little late for me to to restart. We're really close to the end, so we're just gonna finish this one. I'm already like. Could have been a nice uh, kind of. Yeah. What? Could have been a nice zone for a boss here. Which one? Where are you, Adlib? Uh, rooftop. Oh yeah, it would be. I should have gone to the rooftop, but yeah. Or even an exit through by using a. Uh, how is it called? Huh? There's Mr. Sexy here. No. Absolutely ludicrous. I agree. It is ludicrous this thing exists. Burn, bastard. <laughs> I also gave B1F card to Zombie. <laughs> Did you maybe recover it from his body? Uh, we gotta go there anyway, yeah. Thanks for understanding, zombie. Your friend appreciates you. Well, there's no dialogue there. We could have, like, the ones cutscene without dialogue, we were both, both quiet. <laughs> 
We're literally cooking that I'm thing. Not sure what to do. So now who wants past this? Damn it. If I try to Ready dig the to card. What did you say, Mammoth? Sorry. Oh, this boat. That's a beautiful view here. Yeah, I love looking from that from that uh, rooftop. Though I used to clean the building, coming it's up. sort of made to be used. As soon as I unlock this. Do you think we could have left the building through the gondola? Possible. Remember. Yeah, I thought the same thing. So it's like with Outbreak scenario. Like this scenario was heavily cut. There was supposed to be a lot more story. You can see like this scenario is pieced together from basically from two other scenarios. Uh, or actually it was ripped into two scenarios, more like what I mean. But I'm gonna show but the door, so I'm gonna go up uh, with where Mammon is, what he's talking about. I'm gonna show that off. There we go. So since Zombie died, he's becoming the new leech. Has found his body, and he's becoming the new leech man. Whichever character there was, I love this animation. It's always that character it's turning into. From the rooftop, there is a kind of thing that looks like a stairwell. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. I want to show it. Stop. Just chill, man. That's Just chill. Easy. <laughs> That's crazy. There's too many stuff that looks too good to be. Oh. I know. That's why I imagine that all that. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to drop. I wanted to drop this. Warding patient. I think. I mean, I'm sure it could have been so interesting if they had the idea of an helicopter, or maybe that you could leave the building through this uh, thing or through the other. Ah, I'm frustrating. Yeah. God. So much that could have been, but you know, didn't. What's Even in its like very, work on very loose work. form, the game is amazing. Imagine, imagine if it was finished. Like this is thirty percent maybe of the game we were supposed to get. It's the same total chaos for me. I mean, the thing that they were putting Outbreak Two in competition with Resident Evil Four, they just wanted to kill the license. Yep. Ah. It's what? just really unwise. I'm coming, it's buddy. It's a major power. Yeah, I will wait you at the rooftop so I can show you my point of view. And the fact that the rooftop should have got more roofs. What shall I do? I'm not sure what to do. Raccoon Hospital. I love this. Hey! This I is Yoko. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Black smoke hey? is rising here and there throughout the city, but he doesn't want to come in. There's a gondola, yeah. I wonder and if we were using it. The south part of 3F is entirely grayed out. Same for 2F. So I'm sure yeah. there should have been a extra building. And the same for potentially visiting the streets where you could see Mary in one well, of the streets. Well, there's, there's, there's another roof here. So over here, where the gondola is, that goes down to 3F, where the stairwell begins. And I think this would go around the building for, I don't know, window washing and whatever. Look, there's the ACs here. Even the window washing. You know what? I feel that Mary, that you find in the street in one of the screenshots, maybe yeah. should have been lifted from this teleport. I'm sure that this, this scenario should have revolved around Mary after we found her boyfriend. Oh, right there now. it is. It's downstairs. See those cars on fire? Yeah. So it's that's exactly from the promotional... Uh, from yeah. Ben or uh, the other guy. And Mary, the screenshot where George is holding Mary. Yeah, and then that's you from have there. Lisa is walking near the entrance of the of the hospital. Yeah. And I'm you know sure what's in this direction? Yeah, sure. yeah. In this direction, south. I wonder if it's not the athlete. It's not far from no, here. no, right here, right south of the hospital, it's the St. Michael's Cathedral, which we would see the back of. Cathedral so in Operation Ar Raccoon City, there's also a part of the scrapped hive scenario that bit with the survivors outside the hospital and the raccoon and the saint michael's cathedral it's an operation raccoon city again and it's like lower form so yeah the screenshots mammon was referring to with uh one of the firefighters i think danny carrying mary a uh, hurt survivor there's jim in there that's like those cars down there and let's go to first floor to sh actually second floor then down the stairs to first floor to show them the door uh, wait wait i forgot the police officer so we had uh, Cindy or Kevin, Cindy's, Cindy leechified, but oh, I feel the life flowing out of me, no response. So he would talk to Kevin, give him a gun, 
it's either a pistol or a burst gun. And to Cindy, he would mistake her for his wife, I guess, what? or girlfriend, and uh, still give her the pistol. I need just that. I mean, they could have developed a very strong lore, and instead it just left for a spade with Leon. Saving the the boring bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Just one more thing. You know what's in that direction? Well, that's a, actually more like this, but yeah. Go now. Is there? Oh, on the right. Yeah. Mm, not sure. That's where not BFP sure. is. Where the, that laboratory, uh, Raccoon Park is over there, and the uh, dead factory and the BFP are over there. And right up there to the north, that's where Arkley Mountains are and the mansion. So you can see a lot from this point. Depressing, so many stuff we, we should have got to visit and that in the end all we give us is Remake of R3, 2 and 4, yay! Have your bundles of shit, people! It's really sad because a lot of people would love to run around Raccoon City during the outbreak. It's, it's why we love these games. That's what RE2 gave us that we just all went crazy for. And somehow Capcom missed that. Yeah. Two floor, second floor, I'm here, man. Okay. Personally, I would love to understand all the lore, all the story. There are so many games we did not even have the chance to have. As many games as Resident Evil, who did have a very, very different lore. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I have no idea what... All we have is just a game that, is that was treated for 15 years <laughs> like garbage. Because, yeah, it bugs, yeah, there's iframe. Yes, maybe. Well, but that's a part of the game. Works. Oh, someone unlocked it. Wait, hold I'm on. rushed. Good. Sorry, sorry. I mean, it was both at the end to be published and some uh, under development hell. And that's and, uh, and it's depressing. I'm sure if they did put as many investments in Resident Evil as in Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil Outbreak File 2, it would have been so much of a major success. Well, not even File 2, man. Just like yep. let them finish the original game. We would get all this. We would get the first DLCs probably. Ever, because it wouldn't fit on a DVD. It's three, God. If they just had the idea of making it on PS3. Yeah. Goodness. Damn it. Oh, I'm going to pull for her body. George, Actually, this is, yes. yeah. Bravo, bro. We were thinking the same thing. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, and I got it So this present. fire here. Oh, yeah, we're going to mix them. This fire much. here. That's what you see outside. So the car we saw on the roof burning, that car is outside this window here. Along with a few other cars, there was a big collision. And that's why this part is on fire. And this door, where Mammon and I will come right now. Come on. Night reception. You can see this door in early screenshots from the outside. So we were supposed to explore. And we were supposed to enter the hospital here. But now it says zombies groans can be heard. It's dangerous Over to open there. this door. Possibly. Yeah, no let's way. move, the guy will follow us. Oh but yeah, that's where we'll enter. There's a little garden here. And if you look at those beta Find screenshots, it. you can see the outside of this door and all these things we were talking about. They were cut from the game, ultimately. Did we need the tomato it? juice, though. Ah, run. So this is where Carlos <laughs> enters in RE3. That's the... Open the shutter, I'll keep him busy. Actually, okay. We can, we can both dodge. The main door, and this is where Nikolai plants the bomb in RE3. Nice Come double here. door, my friend. Thank you. And the fact that we cannot go further while there's a zombie which is waiting gone. happily for us. Did you find anything? No, is it a zombie or a dog? It's a zombie, that's rare. Usually it's a dog. Okay, look. So this is the waiting room of the hospital. Oh my god, he's so insane. Zombie, you're... Cindy... Cindy Leachman is on our asses the entire time. <laughs> She's very insistent. She's worse than the actual Leachman. It's Cindy Leachy Leachy time. Nice, I found this. Oh, I can't wait. I found it. And also, I, I wonder what should have triggered the opening of the other side of the, the hospital. What? Should it have been that we visit Hirsch? And that uh, the electricity being back gives us the opportunity oh. to finally move to a new part of the hospital, huh? or that it was just cut out like way too many content. Oh, we were late. So this survivor can spawn in one of three locations. The security room we were in earlier, where zombie died, yeah. night reception. He can spawn in B1F, 
here at the stairs or here. If you get to him on time, he'll tell you about the leeches. If not, you see this. But this room is important for George because he can make a lot of drugs with it. Georgie! Actually, take the ammo. We don't both need the ammo. Good. Try to use it. On normal, I should get like 10 of these. So much. It's a drug room. Medicine base, George can mix with his set to make normal medicine. Which is not the same as large medicine. There you go. Four of them, man. That's a lot. Should have more special items here. The form body model here. And... Oh, nice. Thank you. Maybe one more here. Incorrect metal. Yeah, let's read everything. So long underwear. This is this is George special item. George only for I think that's for his uh, nature costume. Long underwear suitable for camping. Tomato juice for anyone. Fresh tomato juice looks like blood, put off, but obviously cannot be used in a transfusion as a substitute. <laughs> so I guess that's like we could use this for the leech man, but he knows the smell of blood because he's a leech. So it's, it's a colony of leeches. Chris's X-ray. This one is interesting. Is loving good cuisine, French cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> you know they do. Uh, what's that? Yeah, Chris's X-ray. So th there are a couple of uh, special items that reference main characters, uh, main like main line characters, or even Dario Rosso and stuff like that. Other characters. So here's one. Chris's X-ray looks like to be from a patient named Chris. He has a good frame and looks quite healthy. That's, of course, the red field. And the form body model, this seems to have been created based on an incorrect model. Male nurse's uh, diary, that's... Yep, that's what Mammon read. I read this one. Setting manual. Just telling us how to in, in, like work with the password, we get that. The chemical, read that. Investigation. All right. Can you investigate the leeches captured around the sewers? They seem to be different from those previously logged in our records. I assume they are a variant of the virus. Are? They're probably they're carrying a variant of the virus, but we can't verify it here. They seem to be different from the leeches Mr. Marcos was involved with. So acknowledging Resident Evil Zero, which was in development concurrently, or actually before outbreak on N64. There is a gigantic one that they failed to capture. It is estimated to be more than one meter long, <laughs> if only. They discovered that the leeches are vulnerable to high heat. Please be careful when examining the leeches. All right, man, the leeches, we get it. And card memo. Very funny, they did also lock down the, the access to the DB1F. Stairs. Yeah. Purpose. Yeah. Let's go. So yeah, this so is basically the card memo for it. the cards. Yeah. And people were knowing that something wrong was happening here, or at least where fighting that something was happening oh yeah they say in r3 remember <laughs> what that main doctor what's his name doctor. right can I pass to here this would be like nice if i could just do this dear god all right did it. here we go incorrect door doesn't have a fade out it's the only door mem and i found in both games so it does that <laughs> dirty looking shutter is closed it doesn't look right like... <laughs> didn't expect you there man oh my bleeding heart Whoop. I heard my bleeding heart I mean if your heart is bleeding I think you need to worry much more right now <laughs> uh, oh shit there's Cindy zombie stop trying to kill me man we're friends I just wonder where the hell how many rooms were just cut out when you see all those all those zones that are impossible to visit yeah Shutters. I mean, so remember the, the repair note said the landing between third and fourth floor needs to be repaired. It's one of the things uh, repair note document says. And that landing is just upstairs where we can't go. That's why that's shuttered oh, off. Yeah. I mean, that's why. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. There? There? Oh, okay. Bravo. All right, B1F. Here we go. This is the longest we've ever played the hive. <laughs> but there's a lot of story for such a condensed scenario. Oh, she's already released, never mind. You already did that? <gasps> Where the fuck is the card? Oh, we left it. We both left it, did we? I left it on the floor. Then. 
<laughs> uh, I'm gonna go straight to 1F and just run for it. Fuck it. Instead of running around. Doctor Station, here we go. This was a safe room in RE3, but here it's like one of the worst rooms. That's the worst room in this scenario. Every scenario has one, what I call, death room. In the hive, it's Doctor Station. Dear God! Hi! <laughs> what? You can do it quick, come on. Give me a break. What? Excuse What's me? happening? It sounded like it sounded like Cindy, but it was Yoko. What's that? I'm not sure what to do. Man, after tricking the Oh wait, there's a there's a card right here. And I'm sure there was one on in on second floor. But I was just too hasty to get that one. Dear God. Huh? Bye, ma'am. Okay, I'm coming back, ma'am, and got it. Huh? I snatched the card. And the leech lady is here. Lindy. <laughs> it's the leech Cindy. We call her Lindy. What? Lindy. It's not very kind. <laughs> it's Lindy Senex. <laughs> Lindy Senex? Uh, well, yeah, like Cindy Lennox, only, only Lindy Senex. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. I just swapped her la first and last name, her initials, so she's not CL, she's LC. <laughs> Master, I remember you like uh, George, right? Where do you come from, you? B1F, here we go. I love George's ad libs in file one are phenomenal. File two really lowered, jeez, Cindy, lowered the ad libs. Oh, you beat me to the punch, did you? Yeah, David. David's your main. Yeah, I remember. We're both David mains. You don't remember a fellow David main, but I mean, you do like George, right? As a character. Oh, shit. So the moment you left the room, Mammon, the zombie changed its behavior. Oh shit, there was like mistimed death. Uh, how the fuck is she here? She was just with me. Like, I just gotta live through this. Everybody take a bite of George. I don't care. I have pills. I'm not even gonna dignify you with yeah, I my friends. I can still get high. <laughs> George, that's not very friendly for a doctor to do this game. Oh. Whoop. Did you get the... Oh, wait, you combine red and... Actually, no. Is there a blue here, Mammon? Mm, except if there is one in B2F. Normally not what? anymore, because we took most of them. Yeah, I got it. Can I combine the last one? Yeah, yeah, combine them. That's what I was saying. So that guy's pretending to be dead. I wonder where it would have led this, though. Because it looks like a door. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like you could go there. I, first time I played, I thought you can't take anymore. You could go past that. In single player, you can check the because there's four copies of the key. We're, we can't do it now. There will always be an item, but they say something about the shutter. Come on. Good. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. I love. It. Yeah. That and his like iframe tackle is just saving grace with, uh, especially with bosses like Nyx. Zombie taught me how to play Nyx excellent with uh, with him. Used to dispose of industrial waste. I better not touch this. So guys, I think we actually did a pretty good story run. Start to look and shutter is closed. Doesn't look like you can open it. So this mammon, I thought this would lead somewhere like an outbreak. You know, there's a shutter in the back that would lead to the elevator. But it's closed in the final game. How many rooms we just... No, no, not from the roof. So right below, I forgot to show it. Right below, like in the in the wine room, there's a... Oh, watch out, don't get knocked. Nice, run, 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 iframes. Bravo. Go, 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 leechman, everyone here. Go, mammon, go. Right, you can dodge, why am I worried about you? Go oh, now. Hey, hey. you. <laughs> Double door, bravo. So, like in Outbreak, hey. in the wine room, if you look behind the shelf, there's a shutter. They didn't remove it, 
I guess it was too much work. What they did was, uh, they just, like, put stuff in front of it. But that shutter would lead to the elevator. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just knocked the laptop out. That shutter would lead to the elevator. What? What did you say? And then out of our door, that is closed. But the door now won't budge. Damn it, give us the doors! Give us all the doors that you've stolen from us so unkindly. Why? And I'm sure here too should have been a door. Hell, <laughs> Yokuan doors. I'm gonna have a seizure. I mean, yeah. how many doors in this level we cannot just get? That's messed up. This, is a, this scenario is famous among like... So don't don't start yet, man. Among like geeks, <laughs> fans <laughs> like us. For having two doors that exist in the game, that's the the main door. So the main entrance, where is it? Yeah, it's here. There's a door that exists, leads nowhere. There's this door that exists, leads nowhere. And I'm pretty sure that one in B1F, no, in B2F, I'm sorry, that door would have led somewhere. But interestingly, there's a phantom door that appears, here we go, on first and second floor. See that? In the upper left, just be beneath the Japanese text beneath the left stick it's moving now the yellow thing it's only there on first and second floors so i'm assuming it's one of those doors yeah it probably is well, like those doors that they removed just to move them off the map but there they are you can still see them thank you right away it changes from a few pixels this in the, Did you find the config between three and two f what do you mean there's a few pixels of difference in the map. I just had a oh yeah, yeah, I mean, that's like, it's very rushed, like I say. So since you have the gun, you're gonna be the shooter, I'm gonna be the, look at that, hundreds, like fucking normal. <laughs> Let's go, you want the bullets? We have to go! Mm -hmm. Did you find it? Come on, I got a, 15 minutes to IP switch and I really gotta sleep. Three, three hours for <laughs> three scenarios, you gotta love that. Thanks. I'm ready. Ready? Set? Go. We lost Cindy along the way, but we have stories to tell. We'll I way, will be David okay. for Hellfire. We so, Master. We'll do it. Sorry? Oh, not kind. I mean, we'll see the other way, but still, we can tell tell our story, so. Too bad, Cindy. Yeah. Well, we'll we can yeah. tell them what happened. By the way, interestingly, it's the same model boat as in RE4, the Del Lago battle boat. It's just literally the same model. So I guess they were sharing resources like, among, uh, inside Capcom. And I want to say Master of Splits. So I'm doing the story marathon, doing the most uh, canonical run for each Resident Evil game, which includes Outbreak as best as we can. So for F Hellfire, I would definitely take David. Unfortunately, Hellfire and Decisions will have to wait, because we're playing, again, we're playing the story marathon. We're gonna, we're playing slower, we're playing on normal with Friendly Fire, but I'm reading all the files and all that, so it takes more time. Because normally you need 10 minutes for the hive, if... So Yoko's fighting, George is just like... I have pills if you need them, Yoko. Yes, yes. Well, just, I think, because they rushed it, you see, in file two, it's very, oh, you good? Yeah. It's very, there's a lot of shit for David in file two. Like, he, if nothing else, than Spears in, uh, in uh, Wild Things. In file one, he's mostly useful for making shit in, uh, in Hellfire. Okay. In Outbreak he can make Flame Spray and Spear. In uh, in Below Freezing Point he can't make anything. He's got the survival knife, so I excuse that. In the Hive he can make the Spear if you break the Broom. The Broom of Doom. And then Hellfire is his thing. Then in, in Decisions, Decisions, David is there to make the flame spray to burn the speedos off of Thanatos. That's his role. <laughs> Stop complaining. Yeah. Stop complaining. You caused it. Heal and blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up, girl. 
You can do it, Yoko. Shoot it, shoot it! Oh shit, you folks. Don't die. Just, you gotta help, you gotta help. Run here. We'll, we'll, we'll lure it to the valves. And the, oh shit, I'm coming. Don't, don't, don't use the help. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wow, that was precise. That was really precise. I got your number. <laughs> I'll take the hit. Oh, nobody took the Oh, you took the hit somehow. Heal, run, run here. Run here. They really exploded in this I think you're not the RM, and that's why it's... I'm gonna lure it. You go there and wait by the canister. Don't do that! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Alright, I'll, I'll lure him. Shoot the valve! Wait, 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 wait. Bravo. Oh. And I me, we're here. Don't kill it. Kill it with the, with the explosion. Let's finish it with the explosion. Let me carry you. Oh wow, that was really good at you. Alright, Yoko, finish that bastard. Not yourself, finish the bastard. <laughs> Yoko suicide bomber. <laughs> just <laughs> you could have drank the whole canister and then just set yourself on fire. He's the right trust you. <laughs> the kind of... I mean you just blew yourself to wait, wait, oh I couldn't even be the doctor. Oh well. A charge! Man, GG. Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculously Your... easy zombie, but it's also ow. I, I think a bee just stung me in the butt. But uh it's uh it's very fun still. The the love for this game doesn't die and I like that. It's nice having a game like that. Oh nice, like we survived the sewers, let's smoke the weed and don't think about how we're running through poop. You, I got other people's poop in my pooper and you got other people's wow, poop in your pooper too. So uh, just don't think about it. This is, if you think about it, it hurts. <laughs> Need a place on the right? Can I try to right oh, yeah. go there? I think there should have been something there, honestly, and they blocked it off. It's because look at the map. It's even there on the map. There must have been something there that we sh would be doing. Who knows? And I think these sewers, because they go south, we would e exit in front of the, uh, like south of Saint Michael's Cathedral, even maybe close to the RPD. Hold on, let me launch you outside. Good, good luck. Stand right in front of me. Don't go too far. Yeah, like that. All right. Help me. The doctor helps. There you go. Safe travels. It flushed away. Safe travels, <laughs> my girl. <laughs> but it's impenetrable wall for me. Yeah, it does look like another city. Like, look at this. I can't. There we go. <laughs> GG, guys. Sorry, zombie for losing you well it's not my fault but i am sorry for losing you there Terrors in the game a constant companion it looks in the shadows ready to strike at any moment i was right i knew Today, we couldn't do the story run in one go like uh somehow like we do our normal games but that's okay that's more outbreak for us I should be thankful for that. well thank you both of you guys thank you so much thanks everyone for watching it's wonderful playing this game and you know sharing this with people such a good game Okay. Rank E. I didn't know there was a rank E. <laughs> I forgot. 52 minutes. The slowest high we ever done. And I love it. <laughs> what did you say? 50.07. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little difference in time. But that's that's normal. All right. So, uh, Mammon, happy birthday again. Thanks for playing with us on your birthday. I appreciate it, brother. Hey. <laughs> you too. Let's see who we can raid. Alrighty. Ugh, really need to rest a bit. Thanks, zombie, for making this happen. Cause, like I said, I was done. I was almost canceling it. But we didn't, cause zombie was zombie was aware something was going on. So who are we? Who are we gonna raid? Who's playing what? Sega fan, of course. Sega fan. 
Sega fan, my man. Sega fan. Re. Playing more retro games. Sega. That's right. That's right. All right. So, just click. There we go. It's it's on. Thanks again. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you to you guys for playing so much. I really needed this as a refresher. Until tomorrow, everyone. We'll stream something tomorrow. Maybe sequel to this. Hopefully, Mammon can't make it though, so we'll see. But it should be the sequel to this. That's what's planned. That's what's on the schedule. And after dinner, said Leo. There we go. Mammon can join us after dinner. That's really good news. That's for decisions, probably, if we're still there. But we'll see. Hopefully, he can join us. Until next time, everyone, stay well, and I'll see you around. Say hi to Sega fan. Bye. Bye.